Chapter 1141. Absorption. Xiao Yan's eyes were fiery hot as he observed the room where the fluctuation had formed earlier. Shock and joy was difficult to hide on his face. He had clearly sensed the existence of the spiritual aura when he entered his training state earlier. Spiritual aura was a kind of extremely mysterious energy. It did not possess the might of Du Qi, but it was a great nourishment to one's soul. However, spiritual aura seemed to be mixed in everything and was extremely difficult to sense. During ancient times, alchemists were able to sense spiritual aura's existence and absorb it due to them possessing some special soul skills. However, in this era, the mysterious soul skills had completely disappeared. There were few alchemists who knew how to sense spiritual aura and absorb it. Xiao Yan had tried an unknown number of methods in order to sense spiritual aura. However, his efforts were futile, with the exception of his entries into those mysterious states, which had caused him to feel quite helpless. Spiritual aura was really a great luxury to the alchemists of this era. The joy on Xiao Yan's face was gradually withdrawn. He suppressed the fluctuations within his heart and once again slowly sank into his mind. He continuously chanted the word formula he had obtained from the spirit nourishment powder. Xiao Yan shut his eyes and continued chanting for half an hour. The quiet space within the room finally began to show signs of a slight fluctuation once again. The fluctuation did not cause Xiao Yan to feel overly shocked this time around. From his senses, he was able to tell that threads of extremely tiny chaotic flows had suddenly appeared in this empty space that was filled with natural energy. These flows were hidden very deep and were covered by dense natural energy. If not for the word formula, Xiao Yan would not have been able to detect the flows. Are these spiritual auras? Xiao Yan's mind focused on these faint flows. A moment later, he began to understand something. These kinds of spiritual auras were extremely faint, and they were very weak. Even if they were occasionally absorbed into one's body, they would be crushed by the surrounding natural energy during circulation. No wonder there were very few people who could sense the existence of spiritual auras. Xiao Yan felt joy within his heart as he sensed the existence of spiritual auras for the first time under his normal training condition. If he managed to successfully absorb these spiritual auras, his soul would sooner or later advance to the soul state after being gradually filled by these spiritual auras. At that time, his alchemist level would definitely be able to advance to the 8th tier guru stage. The 7th tier was the grandmaster stage. The 8th tier was the guru stage. The difference between these tiers was one that was extremely difficult to overcome. If Xiao Yan were able to successfully advance to the 8th tier, even those super strong elite Du Zuns would treat him politely. With this status, Xiao Yan clearly understood the treatment he would receive even from Shunur's Gu clan would definitely not be poor. After all, a tier 8 alchemist was quite a rare existence even on the Du Qi continent. In order to obtain a tier 8 medicinal pill, some experts of the Du Zun class would be willing to lower themselves to act as a bodyguard for someone. This was something that one did not even need to mention. A fiery heart rose within Xiao Yan's heart as the various benefits and treatments he would receive after advancing to the 8th tier flashed across his heart. He hurriedly calmed his heart. After which, he was suddenly stunned. The reason why he was stunned was because Xiao Yan had suddenly discovered that he did not possess a method to absorb the spiritual auras. That anonymous word formula had given him the ability to sense spiritual auras but did not teach him the method to absorb them. A spiritual aura was not like natural energy where one could randomly absorb it. A spiritual aura was extremely fragile. Even the slightest pressure would cause it to disappear. If one did not possess a special method to extract the spiritual aura from the great amount of natural energy, it was impossible for one to successfully absorb it. Xiao Yan sat in a stunned silence like a fool. At that moment, he felt as though he wanted to cry, but tears would not come out. He had managed to sense the existence of spiritual auras after much difficulty. In the end, he discovered that he was unable to absorb them. It was just like he had discovered a treasury that was filled with gold, only to end up discovering that the treasury was locked when he got there. He could only look at it from the door, but could not put the gold into his bag. Ugh, there is still more to this word formula. This part that I have learned is only a small portion of it. Xiao Yan finally recovered after a while. He bitterly smiled, shook his head, and lamented. Xiao Yan sighed. He was dull for a moment before he finally violently clenched his teeth. Everything was always difficult in the beginning. He had already endured through this most difficult beginning. How could he be unable to resolve the subsequent problems? Since he did not have a method to absorb it, he would use the stupidest method. 
absorption through swallowing. Xiao Yan once again entered the training condition after having made up his mind. After which, he widened his mouth and violently absorbed the natural energy mixed with spiritual auras into his body. Before Xiao Yan had the time to control this energy that had just entered his body, the wisps of weak spiritual auras mixed in with the energy were like porcelain vases. With a clang the whips was pressed until nothing was left before disappearing. The first failure did not exceed Xiao Yan's expectations. It would really be strange if he managed to succeed at such a thing the first time around. After refining the natural energy that he had absorbed into his body, into Du Qi, which merged into his body, Xiao Yan once again sucked in another cluster of natural energy. This time around, he isolated the wisps of spiritual auras mixed within the energy with lightning-like speed the moment it entered his body. Subsequently, he carefully removed the energy around around the spiritual auras a little at a time, much like removing the silk from a cocoon. This was a task that really tested Xiao Yan's ability to control his mind. With Xiao Yan's current control ability, he only managed to remove finger-sized wisp of a faint spiritual aura from the energy after having failed over 20 times. Xiao Yan sighed in relief, appearing as though he had been relieved of a great burden. He looked at the spiritual aura he had managed to obtain after spending over an hour. Fortunately, he was able to sense the position of the spiritual aura by relying on this anonymous word formula. Otherwise, this kind of stripping method would definitely not work. Moreover, even with this being the case, he had spent a little too much time. However, Xiao Yan understood that once he practiced until he was familiar with the method, he should be able to increase the output. Although it would not be comparable to using an orthodox absorption method, it would, at the very least, enable his soul to fill with spirituality. Reaching the soul state and breaking through to a tier 8 alchemist was only a matter of time. Xiao Yan's mind carefully controlled this tiny wisp of spiritual aura and gradually shifted it up. After which, it entered the spot between his eyebrows. Xiao Yan immediately felt a cooling feeling being transmitted from his mind after this wisp of spiritual aura entered the spot between his eyebrows. His heart was quickly filled with joy. He understood that this was a phenomenon that would only occur after the spiritual aura within his soul grew. Clearly, this method of his might be clumsy, but at least it did something. Regardless of what the case was, it was, at the very least, better than having gained nothing. It is indeed difficult without any orthodox training methods. Xiao Yan involuntarily let out a bitter laugh when this wisp of spiritual aura entered his soul. Just this single wisp of spiritual aura had exhausted one hour of his time. The effort he had put in and the reward he had obtained were not even. However, he did not have any other solution at this moment. After all, regardless of how small it was, it was still something. If other tier 7 high-grade alchemists were aware that he was able to absorb spiritual aura, it was likely that their eyes would turn red from envy. This was the case even if it was only a tiny wisp of spiritual aura. After comforting himself and his heart, Xiao Yan sighed, and he once again focused his mind, entering his training state. Next, he began the incomparably difficult and complicated task of extracting spiritual aura. An entire night swiftly flowed by amid Xiao Yan's tireless training. Xiao Yan, who was seated on a bed, finally opened his eyes when the first rays of morning light landed in his room. His dark black eyes appeared to have gained an exceptional sparkle. After an entire night's effort, Xiao Yan had successfully absorbed eight wisps of spiritual aura. This was a result that he had only obtained after he had become familiar with the method toward the end of the night, reducing a significant amount of time in the process. The absorption of eight wisps of spiritual aura caused the spiritual aura within Xiao Yan's soul to fill. Hence, a night of exhaustion not only did not cause Xiao Yan to feel the least bit tired, but it instead gave him a kind of extremely refreshed feeling. It did not lose to the refreshness of training for an entire night. Huh. Xiao Yan let out a long breath and leaped down from his bed. He was quite satisfied with the results of the night. Although the effect of this night could not be compared with that of him having entered a unique state, it won in terms of being long-lasting. As long as Xiao Yan desired it, he would be able to absorb spiritual auras anytime he wished. Based on this speed, reaching a tier 8 alchemist was only a matter of time. After arranging his clothes, Xiao Yan, who felt refreshed, pushed the door open and exited the room. He saw Yi Zhong, the little fairy doctor, and the rest were already waiting for him in the courtyard when he exited the room. Yi Zhong hurriedly raised his head when the room's door opened. Only after seeing that Xiao Yan's condition was excellent did he sigh in relief. Xiao Yan smiled to the group. He was naturally aware of Yi Zhong's anxiety. 
Today was the day of the so-called Five Great Clan test. The test today would determine the fate of the Yi Clan in the future. Everything rested on Xiao Yan's shoulders alone. One could even say that the life and death of all the members of the Yi Clan were held in Xiao Yan's hand. Mr. Xiao Yan, are you prepared? Yi Zhong cupped his hands together and respectfully asked. He clearly understood that today was the day that the Yi Clan's fate would be determined. Xiao Yan slowly nodded as he looked at the elderly face of Yi Zhong. He inhaled a deep breath of air and took the lead, walking out of the Yi Manor. This relaxed laughter caused Yi Zhong's tensed heart to slightly relax. Let's go. Today, I shall meet these so-called five great clans and see just what abilities they have. End of chapter. Chapter 1142. Gathering of the Five Great Clans. The location of the Five Great Clan test was in a special hall within the inner part of Holy Pill City. This was an exclusive place where all the clan tests over the generations happened. This place had been built by the Pill Tower. From this, one could tell how greatly the Pill Tower valued this test of the Five Great Clans. This kind of test was not conducted secretly. Instead, it was semi-open to outsiders. Some people with sufficient qualifications and strength would hurry over to this place before the test began. The position of the five great clans was always watched by a countless number of people because everyone knew that this was a shortcut to enter the upper echelons of the Pill Tower. As long as one climbed this large tree known as the Pill Tower, one's strength and reputation would soar overnight. Currently, the Yi clan's position among the five great clans was precarious. If it failed to pass the test this time around, it would lose its position among the five great clans. Once the Yi clan lost its position, other factions, who had already been eyeing their spot, would come swarming in all at once. Hence, many factions, who wanted to get into the upper echelons of the Pill Tower, paid great attention to this five great clan test. Xiao Yan's group followed Yi Zhong to the front of an extremely grand examination venue that occupied a vast amount of land. They discovered that this place was already packed with black masses of human heads. Occasionally, there would be groups of people who appeared to have a strong background passing through the tight defense of the hall's entrance. They would successfully enter the hall. Let's go. Yi Zhong looked at this enormous examination hall. His fists trembled under his sleeves. This place had etched deep memories into his mind. Each test would make him feel humiliated. Yi Zhong took the lead to walk to the entrance of the hall after uttering those words. Xiao Yan's group followed close behind. Yi Zhong's group, which had suddenly walked forward, was naturally quick to attract the attention of the crowd around. Numerous gazes immediately shot over. Private conversations erupted outside of the hall when they saw the clan badge on the chest of Yi Zhong's group. Quick, look. They are members from the Yi clan. He he, if they fail again this time around, it is likely that they will fall from being one of the five great clans. Once they lose the protection of the Pill Tower, it is likely that the Yi Clan will no longer have an easy time. Ugh, that's right. Back then, the Yi Clan was so grand. Only the Dan Clan among the five great clans was able to compare with it. Unfortunately, now, luck changes over time. A bitterness surfaced in Yi Zhong's eyes when he heard the conversations of those around. The decline of the Yi Clan was undoubtedly the greatest blow to him. He had put in everything for the return of the Yi Clan. Now, he had even placed all his hope on Xiao Yan. If the Yi clan failed again, it would be finished. Yi Zhong's group successfully arrived at the entrance of the hall in front of many gazes. The many guards at the entrance glanced at the Yi clan's badge on the chest of Yi Zhong's group in an indifferent manner. There was feigned ridicule in their eyes. The failure of the Yi clan during these years was a humiliation that was difficult to wash away. Although their hearts mocked the Yi clan, these guards did not dare to publicly make things difficult for them. They randomly waved their hands, moved their bodies out of the way, and allowed the group to pass. At the same time, they cried to the interior of the hall. The Yi clan has arrived. Yi Zhong was expressionless, appearing as though he had not sensed the disdain from the guards. He led Xiao Yan's group. They slowly entered before disappearing from the sight of the countless numbers of eyes outside. After entering the large hall, a warm light scattered down. Xiao Yan sensed that there were numerous gazes containing various emotions being shot over from the hall as the light appeared on their bodies. Xiao Yan gently lifted his eyes and swept them over the interior of the hall. At this moment, there were quite a number of human figures seated on the surrounding seats of the hall. The surprising thing was that most of these people's auras were quite strong. Clearly, they came from some factions or clans that were quite powerful. Yi Zhong did not bother with the various gazes coming from all directions. 
he was aware that most of these people were anticipating the Yi clan to fail the test, giving an extremely good spot to them. The seats right at the front belong to the Dan, Cao, Bai, Q clans, the four great clans. Yi Zhong led Xiao Yan's group to the seats for the Yi clan, as he softly informed them. Xiao Yan's eyes looked over after hearing this. He did indeed see four seats at the front of the large hall. However, there were only members from three clans currently sitting there. From the badges on their clothes, they should be the Dan, Bai, and Q clans. Xiao Yan's eyes first paused on the Dan clan, which kept the lowest profile. After which, his eyes suddenly stilled. A gasp was uttered from his mouth because he saw a lovely, small familiar figure among the group from the Dan clan. That figure was the strange, young lady Xiao Yan had met back then at the branch tower when he was taking the alchemist test. The lady also turned her head after appearing to have sensed something when Xiao Yan looked over. Her gaze collided with Xiao Yan for a moment before she hurriedly turned away. She appeared quite timid. This girl is a little unfamiliar. However, by being able to stand in that spot, it is likely that her position within the Dan clan is quite high. Yi Zhang's eyes also paused on the young lady. He frowned before turning his gaze to look at a blue-clothed man beside her. His expression changed as he softly uttered, Dan Xuan. It is unexpected that he has come. Looks like he is going to represent the Dan clan in the test this time around. Ugh. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced over after hearing Yi Zhang's worried words. There was a tall, blue-clothed, young man standing beside the young lady. This man's appearance was handsome, and his brows revealed a gentleness. However, this kind of gentleness was clearly only meant for the young lady beside him. Even though this was the case, it caused the blue-clothed man to appear gentle and refined. Dan Xuan. Xiao Yan mumbled the name in his mouth. Coincidentally, the blue-clothed man also turned his head over. He exchanged glances with Xiao Yan before giving him a warm smile. This person is extremely talented in regards to pill refinement. He could be considered one of the top even within the Dan clan, and he is much stronger compared to Cao Dan from the Cao clan. It is likely that the only one who can suppress him within the Cao clan is that witch. If he is participating this time around, he will definitely rank among the top three. Xiao Yan slowly nodded while he listened to Yi Zhong's soft voice. He was about to speak when he sensed some icy cold eyes. Immediately, he turned his head, only to discover that these gazes were shot over from the Bai clan's seats. That old woman, who had been taught a lesson by Xiao Yan that day, was viciously staring at him from the seats of the Bai clan. Her expression made it seem as though she hated him. She seemed to feel the desire to pounce over and eat him. Xiao Yan acted as though he did not see her vicious gaze. He turned his eyes and focused on a white-clothed man at the front of the Bai clan. This man's body was covered in a faint chill. His face was cold. An icy glint flashed when he turned his eyes, causing one to be afraid of looking at him. He is the most outstanding member of the younger generation in the Bai clan, Bai Ying. Ugh, the Bai clan has indeed sent him. Yi Zhong sighed upon seeing the cold, stern white-clothed man. This Bai clan really did not intend to give the Yi clan a chance to turn things around. Xiao Yan tilted his head. He exchanged looks with Bai Ying for a while. The corner of their mouths were lifted into a hostile arc that was filled with a coldness. While the few of them were conversing, they arrived at the seats of the Yi clan. After which, the few of them took their seats. Compared to the thriving groups of the others, their sight appeared somewhat shabby. That Dan Xuan and Bai Ying have both stepped into the level of a tier 7 middle grade alchemist. They will definitely be powerful opponents. The Q clan is still fine. Theirs is only a tier 7 low grade alchemist and will not pose much of a threat. However, Yi Zhong's eyes looked to the Cao clan's seats when he spoke until this point. Currently, this clan, which was flourishing within the Pill region, had yet to arrive. Who will the Cao clan send this time around? Cao Dan? Xiao Yan appeared to be aware of Yi Zhong's concern as he softly asked. There are three people within the Cao clan who are called the future pillars of the clan. Among them, the strongest is Cao Ying, the witch, while Cao Dan is the weakest. There is one person above Cao Dan called Cao Xiu. This Cao Xiu's pill refining talent cannot be compared with Cao Dan, but he wins in terms of being far calmer than Cao Dan. After becoming an adult, he left alone and headed out to train. After returning to the clan seven years later, he had jumped to the seventh tier. Based on my guess, he should currently have reached the tier 7 middle grade level. Cao Dan was defeated by your hands last time around. This time, the Cao clan will likely send out Cao Xiu. Yi Zhong analyzed the situation. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. 
this cow clan was full of many talents. It was not without reason that it was able to possess such a reputation. At the very least, the Yi clan was much lousier when compared to them, the cow clan has arrived. A loud clear cry was suddenly transmitted from outside of the hall, while Xiao Yan was sighing in his heart. After which, it continued to reverberate around the hall for some time. Waves of commotion sounded within the large hall when this cry appeared. Quite a number of factions that had been sitting quietly, hurriedly stood up. Their faces were full of smiles. With the current position of the Cao clan, the clan was worthy of their bootlicking. Xiao Yan also turned his head over. His gaze landed on the entrance to the hall. The tightly shut door at that spot was slowly opened, and a graceful figure walked in from the shadows with soft, slow steps. This graceful figure walked out of the shadows and appeared in the light. The atmosphere within the large hall instantly became sluggish because of this figure's appearance. This lady had a tall and lovely figure. She was wearing a black-colored dress that emitted traces of her cold and haughty demeanor. Her skin was like snow. Her long hair scattered randomly over her shoulders. Her face was thin, but was exceptionally exquisite, appearing just like a porcelain statue that made one feel a desire to fondle her admiringly. This lady stood at the entrance of the hall. She raised her eyes slightly. Her long eyes contained a slight laziness while emitting a trace of enchantment, causing her to appear exceptionally alluring. Quite a number of people within the hall had become absent-minded because of her enchanting figure. At the same time, the lady's long lips slowly lifted into a faint curl. The instant this arc was lifted, her thin and enchanting face was instantly filled with temptation. End of chapter. Chapter 1143? Start of the test. The black-clothed lady's lazy eyes slowly scanned the interior of the large hall. Anyone who was caught by her eyes would feel a fiery heat and fear rise in their hearts. This lady was really filled with temptation. However, behind this temptation was a greater bone-deep fear. The name of this lady was something that almost everyone seated in this place had heard of. The witch from the Cao clan, Cao Ying. One of the future potential successors for the giant heads of the Pill Tower. That first title might not be a resounding one, but it was sufficient to get a countless number of people to view her as a goddess high above them. A giant head of the Pill Tower. This was a position that possessed a great amount of authority across the entire continent. Anyone seated here would truly experience what kind of feeling a monstrous authority was. The Pill Tower was the holy ground in the hearts of all the alchemists on the continent. One could even unceremoniously say that the giant heads of the Pill Tower were the spiritual leaders in the hearts of a countless number of alchemists. The ability of the Pill Tower to gather people was something that did not even need mentioning. This kind of summoning ability was completely controlled by the desire of the giant heads of the Pill Tower. Cao Ying, the most outstanding genius the Cao clan had ever produced, was a personal disciple of one of the three giant heads of the Pill Tower. With the direction she was currently developing in, it was definitely possible for her to become a potential successor of one of the Pill Tower's giant heads a century later. Moreover, if she was lucky, she might even be able to remove the title of potential. At that time, she would be one of the few female giant heads ever since the Pill Tower had been established. The glaring glow over the head of this lady full of such great achievement was sufficient to cause everyone in the hall to look up to her. The black-clothed lady swept her eyes over the hall. She did not sweep her eyes over the others. Instead, her eyes paused on the seats of the Dan clan. Of course, her eyes did not stop on the warm and elegant Dan Shuan. Instead, they were looking at the timid young lady beside him. That young lady bunched her eyebrows together after having appeared to have sensed Cao Ying's focus. Their eyes crossed each other before the young lady quickly moved her eyes away. An enchanting smile surfaced on Cao Ying's face when she saw her look away. Cao Ying shifted her footsteps and walked to the Cao clan's seats. The members of the Cao clan followed close behind. Xiao Yan finally saw a familiar person among this group Cao Dan. At this moment, Cao Dan was closely following behind Cao Ying. His lowered eyes would occasionally drift to the alluring figure in front of him. There was a deeply hidden fondness within his eyes. Xiao Yan's gaze paused for a moment on Cao Dan before it turned to another strongly built man. This person had a serious face. His eyebrows were quite thick, giving him a stern feeling. He was the only male from the Cao clan who did not feel the least bit of pressure when standing behind Cao Ying. I think that person should be Cao Xiu, right? Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his eyes. These three people represented the top strength of the younger generation from the Cao clan. Of course, if it was Cao Ying, it was likely that even some of the older fellows from the Cao clan would be eclipsed by her. 
This witch was really not someone an ordinary person could compare with. Cao Ying led the Cao clan and walked to their allocated seats in front of the many gazes within the large hall. Her footsteps slightly paused when she passed by the Dan clan. She turned her head. Her pretty eyes landed on the weak young lady as she sweetly smiled, Sister Dan Chen, it has been a long time since we have last met. That young lady, who was called Dan Chen, merely lowered her chin in the face of Cao Ying's greeting. She did not say much. It is unexpected that you have also come this time around. It is likely because of the pill gathering, right? Ha ha, the Dan clan has really put in quite a great amount of effort. Could it be that it is planning to embrace the champion spot of the pill gathering this time around? Cao Ying covered her mouth and softly laughed. Dan Chen appeared just like a little girl under the cold and arrogant demeanor of Cao Ying. She did not show the slightest attempt to verbally spar with Cao Ying. Miss Cao Ying must be joking. The champion of this season's pill gathering will definitely land in your hands. The other people don't have the qualification. Dan Xuan, who was in front of Dan Chen, smiled and replied on her behalf. You really have a way with words. However, you can forget about getting me to lower my guard because of them. Cao Ying was noncommittal in the face of Dan Xuan's words. Her pretty eyes stared at Dan Chen as she softly said, but I really wish to know just how much stronger you are compared to back then, after having not seen you for two years. That state. I wonder if you have completely stepped into it? Dan Chen no longer revealed a delicate appearance when someone mentioned something related to pill refinement. She appeared to have turned into another person. Her eyes were focused on Cao Ying as she said, I also wish to know. Cao Ying was not the least bit surprised in the face of Dan Chen's sudden transformation. Instead, she laughed and gently nodded. She waved her sleeves, turned around, and walked toward the seats of the Cao clan. Her footsteps did not even pause when she passed by the Yi clan along the way. She climbed her seat at the front and slowly sat down. Cao Ying completely ignored the Yi clan, but that Cao Dan suddenly paused his steps. He revealed a cold smile to Xiao Yan and said, it is unexpected that you have really intervened in this matter. Xiao Yan raised his eyes, smiled, and ignored Cao Dan. A chill flashed across Cao Dan's face when he saw Xiao Yan completely disregard him. He was just about to let out a cold cry when that strongly built man extended a hand to stop him. That man glanced at Xiao Yan indifferently and said, let's move. What would it look like if you made a big fuss here? Although Cao Dan felt a little unwilling, he still nodded hearing Cao Xiu's words. After which, he let out a cold snort and walked to the seats of the Cao clan. Are you that Xiao Yan? I have heard Cao Dan mention you. That man stared at Xiao Yan before faintly speaking. Xiao Yan's eyes looked at this man with a swift and fierce body. Looking at his outer appearance, it was really difficult to tell that the other party was a high-tier alchemist. However, this person was indeed as Yi Zhong had described him. He appeared more mature and much calmer compared to Cao Dan. Cao Xiu, one of the three great geniuses of the Cao clan. You are quite well known. Xiao Yan smiled as replied. Genius is not used to describe someone like me. Cao Xiu's eyes stared at Xiao Yan. After which, he glanced at Yi Zhong and the others by Xiao Yan's side. He slowly said, your level is quite high, but it is likely extremely difficult for you to rescue the Yi clan. Hopefully, you will not end up pulling yourself into a quagmire. Thank you for your honest warning. Xiao Yan smiled as he thanked Cao Xiu. Cao Xiu nodded. He was unwilling to say anything more as he turned around and walked to the seats of the cow. This fellow is indeed not as simple as that impulsive Cao Dan, who is simple-minded. Xiao Yan looked at Cao Xiu's back, stretched his lazy waist, and softly commented. Cao Xiu's pill refining talent is not better than Cao Dan's talent. However, his achievements are greater than Cao Dan's. Yi Zhong nodded and sighed. This person possesses a strong perseverance. The Cao clan is indeed very lucky to possess both Cao Ying and him. Big brother, what is there for you and that fellow to talk about? You must help me take revenge this time around. As long as you can stop that brat from entering the top three, the Yi clan will be finished. Cao Dan looked at Cao Xiu, who had sat beside him. Cao Dan spoke with dissatisfaction. Cao Xiu glanced at him. He faintly replied, he is not a simple person. I am not surprised that he can beat you. He might really end up getting into the top three this time around. He is also a tier 7 middle grade alchemist. And he has achieved this at such an age. Moreover, he does not possess the usual arrogance of a young person. Clearly, his mental state is good. It is indeed not surprising if he enters the top three in this test.
Cao Ying, who was sitting in the leader's spot, played with a round jade bead, using her long, snow-white hand. She did not turn around when she heard the conversation between the two. All she did was randomly utter some words. Cao Dan felt even more displeased upon hearing this. It seemed he was unhappy that these two had evaluated Xiao Yan so highly. However, he did not dare to comment on anything to Cao Ying. Hence, he could only swallow the words in his mouth in a dispirited manner. The ground within the large hall suddenly began to shake after the members of the Cao clan took their seats. The position of the five great clans shifted backwards like some mobile ground. In the blink of an eye, an extremely spacious open ground appeared in the middle of the hall. The white-haired old man, who was filled with energy, slowly stepped out when the arena appeared. His eyes slowly swept over the hall as he smiled and said, since the five great clans have all arrived, the old me shall not say too much. This season's test will be conducted by me. No one has any objections, do they? Kiki, Elder Sheng, with your status in the Pill Tower, who will dare to doubt you? Only Cao Ying replied with a lovely smile when the white-haired old man laughed because this person's status was a little too high for quite a number of the people seated here. This elder is called Sheng Yao. He is one of the eight great elders of the Pill Tower and possesses a large say within the Pill Tower. He could be described as a true upper echelon of the Pill Tower. Yi Zhong softly introduced him beside Xiao Yan's ear. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He had sensed a vague pressure the moment this white-haired old man appeared. This kind of pressure originated from deep within his soul. Therefore, he understood that this white-haired old man was not an ordinary person. You girl. There is no need for you to lick my boots. These old bones of mine cannot endure it. The white-haired old man grinned. After which, he swung his eyes around the arena and said, it is about time. The candidates for the five great clans test, please enter. The private conversations within the large hall became quiet after these words were uttered by the white-haired elder. Xiao Yan gentle inhaled a breath of air. His fist slowly tightened under his sleeves. He turned his head, only to see the anxious anticipation within the eyes of Yi Zhong and Xin Lan. Big brother Xiao Yan, do your best. Xiao Yan smiled as he looked at Xin Lan's anxious pretty face. A pride surged out of his heart. After which, he gently stood up in front of the eyes of the entire hall. It is finally about to begin. Whether or not the big boat of the collapsing Yi clan could be saved by Xiao Yan's strength would be decided today. End of chapter. Chapter 1144. Soul Test. When Xiao Yan stood up from his seat, four other figures slowly stood up from the seats of the four other great clans. In an instant, the eyes of the people in hall gathered on the five of them. The candidates whom the Dan and Cao clan had sent out did not exceed Yi Zhong's expectations. They were Cao Xu and Dan Xuan. The Bai clan was represented by the most outstanding person among the clan's younger generation, who was the man called Bai Ying. The Kui clan's candidate was a small man. Although Xiao Yan did not know who he was, it was likely that this person was not ordinary, since he was capable enough to be sent out by the Q clan. Elder Cheng in the arena slowly swept his eyes over the five people. After which, his eyes paused on Xiao Yan. This elder had been friendly with the Yi clan in the past. However, due to the decline of the Yi clan over the years, the Yi clan seldom came to Holy Pill City. Hence, their relationship had become a lot paler. Nevertheless, Elder Cheng felt some pity for the Yi clan's predicament. He had once helped put in some good words. This had enabled the Yi clan gain its final chance of survival today. The candidates representing the various clans, please step into the arena. Xiao Yan and the rest slowly walked down in front of the eyes of the entire hall upon hearing Elder Cheng's faint words. After which, they stood in the arena some distance apart while carrying some caution. Dan Xuan from the Dan clan greets Elder Cheng. Dan Xuan stood straight as he cupped his hands to Elder Cheng and respectfully greeted him. Cao Xiu from the Cao clan. Bai Ying from the Bai clan. Qiu Qi from the Qiu clan. Cao Xiu and the others cupped their hands together and greeted the elder after Dan Xuan did. This elder Cheng was one of the eight great elders of the Pill Tower. Their positions were far from what some ordinary elders could compare with. Even the five great clans treated him with respect. Xiao Yan, the representative from the Yi clan, greets Elder Cheng. Although such a formality was useless, it was something that still needed to be done. Xiao Yan was not some young and inexperienced person. He would naturally not act arrogant and omit this courtesy. Xiao Yan's words had just sounded when it immediately caused numerous surprised eyes to be thrown onto him. However, all those seated were well-informed people, 
they were vaguely aware of the relationship between Xiao Yan and the Yi clan. Hence, they did not appear too surprised. After all, this kind of test did not explicitly restrict the five clans from getting the help of outsiders. Ha ha, Xiao Yan ha. This name is quite frequently heard recently. Elder Cheng fondled his beard and laughed. He was naturally mentioning the matter of the Ice River Valley some time earlier, which had caused a big uproar. The soul-stirring battle that had erupted within Yi City had become one of the topics that was frequently talked about across the Pill region. It was merely some minor fight. How can it catch the great eyes of Elder Cheng? Xiao Yan smiled and replied. How can it be a minor fight? You even dared to randomly attack someone from my Bai clan. Clearly, you look down on my Bai clan. Although the Ice River Valley cannot do anything to you, you should be aware that this is Holy Pill City, not that small Yi city. Bai Ying from the Bai clan by the side coldly laughed after Xiao Yan spoke. Xiao Yan smiled in a non-committal fashion in the face of Bai Ying's cold ridicule. He did not argue with him. Instead, he crossed his ten fingers in front of him and acted as though he did not hear Bing Ying's provocation. Bai Ying coldly smiled upon seeing how Xiao Yan acted. He had also heard that Xiao Yan was a tier 7 middle grade alchemist. However, this was not enough for him to be afraid of Xiao Yan. The tier 7 middle grade possessed a divide between the strong and the weak. He had already advanced to this level a year ago, while Xiao Yan had just obtained the tier 7 middle grade badge a couple of days ago. Elder Cheng did not hinder this kind of disharmonious atmosphere between the two. This kind of thing was commonplace and could not be considered special. He would let them randomly find fault with each other, as long as they did not hinder the progress of the test. Since there is no problem, let the test today begin. Elder Cheng slowly stepped back. An item covered by a black cloth was behind him. He extended his hand and pulled off the black cloth, revealing a stone tablet that was around 10 feet tall. Actually, it was not accurate to describe it as a stone tablet because this stone tablet was transparent, giving it a crystal-like appearance. Our test is divided into three sections. This first section is soul testing. It is common knowledge that the spirit is the most important foundation of an alchemist. Only with a powerful soul will one possess sufficient spiritual perception and spiritual control. Elder Cheng pointed to the middle of the stone tablet. There was a circular smooth plate there. He said, each of you will insert your spiritual strength into this plate. It will test the value of your spirit. This value is called a soul value by the pill tower. As long as one soul value reaches above 400, one will have passed the test. The highest record during the soul value test of the five great clans examination is held by Cao Ying. Back then, her soul value had reached 976. No one has broken it until now. Eater Cheng's eyes turned to the leader's seat of the Cao clan when he spoke until this point. The black-dressed Cao Ying was supporting her cheek with one hand at that spot. Her other hand was playing with a round jade bead. Her casual and unconcerned manner did not change just because she had become the focus of the surrounding gazes. Ha ha, since all of you know the rules, let's begin. Who will go first? Elder Cheng withdrew his gaze and smiled as he asked Xiao Yan's group. The five of them fell into a silence after Elder Cheng's voice sounded. A moment later, the man called Q G Fro the Q clan finally took the lead to step forward. After which, his hand gently touched the stone tablet. Both of his eyes were shut as spiritual strength moved along his hand and surged into it. Beep beep beep. One could see the smooth mirror plate in the middle of the stone tablet suddenly emit a beeping sound after his spiritual strength was inserted into the stone tablet after which, the blood-red number on it suddenly soared. This continued for around 10 seconds, before it paused on the number 707 in front of numerous eyes. QG finally released his hand after the number stabilized. He glanced at the number on the plate and sighed in relief. This number was already considered high. Some ordinary tier 7 alchemist would not even be able to reach this number. Xiao Yan by the side fell deep into thought after looking at the number. He was able to sense that this QG possessed a great spiritual strength. However, this final value was only 707. From this, he could vaguely sense how terrifying Cao Ying was. After all, she had far exceeded this number two to three years ago. He wondered just what level the current her had reached. With this result, QG slowly stepped back. After all, this number had far exceeded the passing mark. There was no longer a need for him to be worried about anything. Bai Ying closely followed after QG stepped back. He coldly smiled as he glanced at Xiao Yan. Only then did he place his hand on the stone tablet. 
he inhaled a breath of air before his spiritual strength erupted from him. Beep, beep, beep. As Bai Ying's spiritual strength continued to pour out, the blood-red number on the plate swiftly began to soar. Within a couple of seconds, it had already reached 700. After which, it continued to beep. It stopped at the value of 785. Some private conversations broke out within the large hall when everyone saw the number on the stone tablet. The faces of the members of the Bai clan were filled with pride. The white-clothed woman, Xiao Yan had met when he was being tested for the tear badge at the branch tower, was currently looking a Bai Ying with a glint in her eyes. Elder Cheng slowly nodded when he saw the number on the Nirvana plate. This result could already be considered to be among the top. This reputation of being the strongest among the younger generation of the Bai clan was really not some mere bragging. After Elder Cheng pressed his hand against the empty air, the conversations within the hall finally began to stop. His eyes turned to Xiao Yan, Dan Xuan, and Cao Xiu as he smiled and said, it's your turn. The three of them exchanged glances with one another upon hearing this. That Cao Xiu smiled faintly and said, since the both of you choose to be the last, I shall be first to step forward and show my inadequacy. TL. It should be noted that in Chinese culture saying that oneself is incompetent is considered humble, but it should not be taken at face value after saying this, Cao Xiu walked forward and slowly approached the stone tablet. He touched the tablet before his eyes opened wide, and an extremely strong energy surged out of his body like a volcano erupting. Beep, beep, beep. After a surge of energy from Cao Xiu's body, one could see the blood-red number on the plate swiftly begin to rise. Within the blink of an eye, it had broken past the 800 mark and finally came to a slow halt at the value of 846. Some shocked gasps appeared within the large hall as everyone looked at the sole value on the stone tablet. This value could already be considered very good among the tier 7 middle grade level. Both of you, it's your turn. Cao Xiu slowly stepped back and spoke after turned his eyes to Dan Xuan and Xiao Yan. Dan Xuan slightly nodded upon hearing this. He gave Xiao Yan a faint warm smile before slowly stepping forward. Dan Xuan had undoubtedly caused a countless number of eyes within the large hall to gather on him the moment he stepped forward. Cao Ying, who had been acting unconcerned, threw her pretty eyes over. Dan Xuan was a renowned talent from the Dan clan. Many people knew that Dan Xuan would be the successor of the Dan clan in the future. His ability and character caused him to possess such qualifications. Dan Xuan stopped in front of the stone tablet in front of the many gazes. His hand was gently placed on the stone tablet, but his face did not reveal the slightest anxiety. Dan Xuan's hand touched the stone tablet. He slowly shut his eyes, and a majestic spiritual strength slowly surged out of his body. Even his surroundings had vaguely become distorted. This caused some surprise to flash across the eyes of Elder Cheng by the side. His vast and mighty spiritual strength surged into the stone tablet. After which, a quick beeping sound once again resounded over the arena. The blood-red numbers on the plate began to swiftly soar at a speed that caused one's heart to race. The soaring number broke through the 700 mark in the blink of an eye. The next instant, it broke through 800. Only at this moment did its speed begin to slow. However, the number continued to slowly leap up. Finally, it broke through the peak of the 800 category amid sounds of people inhaling cool air. It finally stopped at the value of 903. The entire place was silent as everyone looked at the blood-red number on the plate. Numerous gazes filled with praise were shot onto Dan Xuan. He was indeed worthy of being the next successor of the Dan clan, and he was indeed not someone that an ordinary person could compare with. Elder Cheng smiled and nodded at this moment. Since Dan Xuan was able to reach such a number, it was likely that he would advance to a tier 7 high-grade alchemist very soon. Moreover, his young age was extremely commendable. In the future, he might even have the qualification to step into the guru realm. Surprise flashed across Cao Ying's pretty eyes from the Cao clan's seats. The corner of her mouth was lifted into a faint arc. This Dan Xuan was indeed quite strong. Although he was still a little lacking, he was considered quite outstanding when compared to others of similar age. The gasps of surprise continued for a while before gradually quieting. After which, everyone's eyes gathered onto the final figure. This was the last opportunity for the Yi clan. If Xiao Yan's final number failed to surpass Bai Ying's and enter the top three, it was likely that the Yi clan would be finished. Yi Zhong's group was also anxiously watching Xiao Yan at this moment. If Xiao Yan failed to enter the top three on the first section, there was really no need to continue the subsequent tests. Cao Ying slightly raised her eyes. 
Her enchanting, pretty eyes stared at Xiao Yan with great interest. She really wanted to know whether this fellow, who had some reputation, had the ability to save the Yi clan, or if he was just acting calm. Xiao Yan slowly inhaled a breath under the focus of all the eyes present. His expression was clam as he slowly stepped forward. After which, his hand gently pressed against a stone tablet. End of chapter. Chapter 1145. Stunning the four others. All gazes present gathered on Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking to the stone tablet. The testing of the few people earlier might be eye-catching, but the the one everyone was anticipating was still Xiao Yan. This was because he was representing the Yi clan by taking this test. This first test would thus determine the fate of the Yi clan from now on. Whether or not they could keep stay a member of the five great clans would all be determined by this test. Cao Dan's eyes were viciously staring at Xiao Yan's back. The corner of his mouth contained ridicule. If the Yi clan wished to pass this test, they would need to enter the top three in every segment. Currently, the first three places of this soul test were occupied by Dan Xuan, Cao Xiu, and Bai Ying. None of those three competitors were ordinary people. Cao Dan did not believe that Xiao Yan really possessed such an ability. Xiao Yan's feet paused in front of the stone tablet under the focus of all the eyes present. He raised his hand and touched the stone tablet. The stone tablet was ice cold. It was as though he was touching a piece of ice. There was a slight piercing pain from the spot where his hand made contact with its surface. This kind of feeling appeared to penetrate deep into his soul, causing him to feel uncomfortable. Xiao Yan, the Yi clan must enter the top three if it wishes to pass this test. Currently, the one ranked third is Bai Ying. His soul value has reached 785. Only if you surpass him will the Yi clan stand a chance. Elder Cheng stared at Xiao Yan from beside the stone talisman. His expression was a little grave as he softly informed Xiao Yan. If the Yi clan were to fail this time around, it was likely that nice words put in on their behalf would not be able to prevent the Yi clan from being eliminated from the five great clans. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. He had a better understanding than anyone that he was currently controlling the fate of all the members of the Yi clan in his hands. Both of Xiao Yan's eyes were shut. His entire figure appeared to have instantly become silent. Even his breathing had weakened. Silence covered the interior of the hall. Not the slightest unusual sound appeared. The entire hall appeared to have been covered by a kind of faint pressurizing atmosphere. This kind of silence continued for around half a minute or so. Just when everyone within the hall were looking at each other, an unusually vast and mighty spiritual pressure slowly swept out of the body of the young man in front of the stone tablet, like a large dragon had just awoken. Bang! A deep, muffled sound erupted around Xiao Yan. At the same time, an invisible spiritual storm formed around his body. The space around him had become extremely distorted when this storm was formed. When this storm appeared, Elder Cheng, who was closest to Xiao Yan, had a sudden change of expression. His body hurriedly pulled back, and his eyes stared intensely at the blurry figure within that distorted space. It was not the first time that he had seen such an unusual phenomenon occurring during the test of one's soul value. When Cao Ying had taken the test back then, she had also stirred such an unusual phenomenon. However, when compared to Xiao Yan, it seemed that the spiritual storm of hers back then was a little smaller. Dan Xuan, Cao Xiu, Bai Ying, and Qiu Ji in front of the stone tablet also experienced a change in expressions when they saw this unexpected change. They hurriedly took over ten steps back. At the same time, their eyes were shocked as they stared at that figure, especially Bai Ying. His expression was exceptionally shocked. Never had he expected Xiao Yan to reach such a shocking level. The jade bead rotating in Cao Ying's hand, while she sat on the Cao clan's seat, suddenly paused. Her temptation-filled eyes were focused on that blurry figure in front of the stone tablet. Her face finally revealed a surprised expression. She had actually misjudged this time around. Moreover, she did not expect this young man called Xiao Yan to hide his true ability so deeply. The invisible spiritual storm stirred an uproar throughout the entire hall. It was a while before the storm finally weakened. Around a dozen plus seconds later, it finally completely disappeared. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew the hand in contact with the stone tablet after the spiritual storm scattered. After which, he turned his eyes to the plate in the middle of the stone tablet at the same time as everyone else. 1395. The blood red number remained on the plate in a startling manner. That number caused the entire place to turn dead silent. Many eyes seemed to have solidified as they remained on the number without being able to shift away. 
The silence continued in the large hall for a moment before it was broken by numerous sounds of cold air being inhaled. Many eyes contained shock, that was difficult to hide, as they looked at the somewhat skinny back of the figure in front of the stone tablet. 1395. This number was more than 300 points greater than the record Cao Ying had set back then. When Cao Ying had broken the record for the first time back then, she had been bestowed the title of witch, yet Xiao Yan had currently broken the record that she had left behind. Moreover, he had even tossed the record far behind him. This result was really shocking. Cao Ying's eyes were also startled when she saw the blood red number. Her eyes immediately landed on Xiao Yan with some interest. She softly laughed, interesting. This Central Plains region does indeed have many hidden talents. I have never discovered someone like this in the past. Looks like the pill gathering will be extremely interesting this time around. Cao Dan, who was behind her, also stared at the stone tablet in a stunned manner. He only recovered a moment later. The jealousy inevitably flashed across his eyes when he heard the admiration and high regard suggested in Cao Ying's tone. He clearly understood Cao Ying's character. One could count the number of people from the same generation whom this extremely cold woman viewed seriously with one's hands. Moreover, he clearly understood that he had yet to attain that qualification. However, that Xiao Yan, whom he had mocked a couple of times, had reached this stage ahead of him. This was a blow that caused him to feel extremely terrible. Yi Zhong and Xin Lan in the Yi clan seats, who had tensed hearts, finally sighed in relief at this moment. The both of them appeared to have been relieved of a great burden. The result that Xiao Yan had obtained was too dazzling. It had even reached a kind of dreamlike stage. They never doubted Xiao Yan's abilities. At the same time, however, they did not expect him to break the record set by the witch from the Cao clan on the first test. The Yi clan is saved. Yi Zhong's excited hand slightly trembled. His various worries during this period of time had completely disappeared at this moment. He believed that with Xiao Yan's extraordinary abilities, it should not be too difficult for Xiao Yan to obtain at least a third place in the remaining two sections. Elder Cheng by the sight of the stone tablet was startled as he looked at the blood-red number. A moment later, he finally nodded. After which, his eyes looking at Xiao Yan had become unusually hot. 1395. Other people might not be certain about what this number represented, but he clearly understood it. This represented that Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had already reached the tier 7 high grade level. Moreover, the most precious thing of all was Xiao Yan's age. By being able to reach the tier 7 high grade level at such an age, it was likely that only Cao Ying among the younger generation could compare to him. In other words, the Pill Tower had discovered another demon-like genius after Cao Ying. Of course, Elder Cheng would naturally not think that Xiao Yan could really stand shoulder to shoulder with Cao Ying. After all, that record was something that Cao Ying had created two to three years ago. Today, it was likely that she had already reached an even more terrifying level. Xiao Yan's age was similar to hers. If one were to really compare them, it was likely that Cao Ying was a little better. This was indeed the case based on common sense. However, how would he know that this current number was not Xiao Yan's full strength? One should always hold a little back and everything one does leave oneself with some room to form tactics. Xiao Yan was used to doing this. Moreover, creating this result was also something that was beyond Xiao Yan's expectation. Although Xiao Yan did not anticipate it, he was able to understand why his soul value was this high. This was related to the spiritual aura within his soul. Although spiritual aura did not possess the great might of Du Qi, it appeared to be able to cause the value of one's soul to be raised. If one alchemist had spiritual aura and another did not, the result of the test would definitely be vastly different, even if they were of the same tier. Xiao Yan had quietly suppressed a spiritual storm when it had appeared earlier and prevented his spiritual strength from completely erupting. Ultimately, he believed that holding something back would provide him with the greatest guarantee of security. Ha ha, not bad, not bad. Elder Cheng fondled his beard and laughed. From the looks of it, he appeared extremely excited. If he were to report this matter to the top, it was likely going to stir quite a large commotion. The soul test will end here. The person ranked first is naturally Xiao Yan, who represents the Yi clan. Additionally, I will also congratulate him for breaking the record. It is likely that this record of his will not be broken in any test for a very long period of time in the future. Everyone in the hall quietly let out a bitter laugh upon hearing Elder Cheng's voice. This Yi clan was indeed like a hundred-foot worm that refused to buckle. Even in a life-and-death situation, they were able to find such a terrifying helper. 
From Xiao Yan's performance, it was likely not going to be a problem for Xiao Yan to enter the top three in the two subsequent tests. As long as they passed this test, the Yi clan would once again possess the strength to survive. Next will be the last two sections of the test. Once these two sections are over, the final result for this season's five great clan test will appear. Elder Cheng smiled at Xiao Yan. His smile was filled with an additional earnestness and friendliness. He was undoubtedly much warmer when compared to his indifferent self earlier. Xiao Yan also smiled in response to Elder Cheng's friendliness. He took two steps back, only to sense a gaze that caused his soul to feel a little fear. He turned his head, and his eyes collided with the black-clothed lady in the leader's seat of the Cao clan. The corner of Cao Ying's mouth was lifted into a slight arc that was filled with temptation when she saw Xiao Yan shoot his eyes over. A bewitching aura spread all over the place, causing her to appear like a beautiful demon spirit that had descended into the mortal realm. A cautiousness quietly rose within Xiao Yan's heart in the face of the fearless demonic temptation of this demon spirit. This lady was not someone that he could randomly touch. End of chapter. Chapter 1146. Spiritual Control. The next test is called Spiritual Control. Elder Cheng smiled as he looked over the candidates. After which, he took out a dark black metal bead from his storage ring. The surface of the metal bead was extremely smooth. Moreover, it did not contain the slightest luster. The complete black color gave it a kind of heaviness. This is a bead that has been formed from spiritual metal. It is called soul testing bead. If this thing is held by a hand, it will appear extremely light. However, it will appear extremely heavy to one's soul. When this spiritual control test begins, many of these soul testing beads will scatter down from the ceiling. You are required not to use any do key. Instead, you will use your spiritual strength alone to support them. The one who takes the most soul testing beads will be in the top segment of this test. The ranks will be determined based on the number of beads received. Elder Cheng took a glance at Cao Ying when he spoke until this point. After which, his eyes turned to Xiao Yan. He smiled and said, the record of this test of one's spiritual control is also set by Cao Ying. Back then, she had picked up 89 beads. This record has yet to be broken even now. The numerous eyes from around the hall immediately gathered on Xiao Yan when they heard Elder Cheng's words. They really wanted to know whether this young person called Xiao Yan would be able to break all of the records left by Cao Ying back then. Humph, these fellows really overestimate this person. Earlier, it must have been his good luck that allowed him to get that kind of result. The corner of Cao Dan's mouth trembled as he let out a cold snort. Cao Ying glanced at him and casually said, this Xiao Yan is indeed someone with ability, and he does not rely on good luck. I really wish to see just what kind of result he will obtain during the spiritual control test. The magnitude of the soul value represented whether the spiritual strength of an alchemist was strong. However, a true alchemist did not merely just look at the strength of their soul. If one wanted to refine a high-tier medicinal pill, one would require an exceptionally agile and high degree of control over their spiritual strength. Otherwise, it would end up being similar to using a large hammer to smash an egg. There was plenty of strength, but the egg would also turn into smithereens. Only a person with a powerful spiritual strength and extremely familiar with his spiritual control could truly be called an alchemist. How is it? Are you ready? Elder Cheng smiled at Xiao Yan's group and inquired. The group slowly nodded upon hearing his question. Their spiritual strength slowly bubbled from the spot between their eyebrows, ready to erupt anytime. I shall first remind everyone. Do not possess the vain hope of completely receiving all of them in one go. Scattering your spiritual strength is an extremely foolish act in this kind of test. Elder Cheng seriously reminded. After which, he turned around and quickly moved away. At the same time, densely packed, dark black holes were revealed in the ceiling. A moment later, dark black metal beads poured down from the ceiling like a storm. Swoosh swoosh. Xiao Yan's group began to reflexively dodge them as they looked at the soul-testing beads that came pouring down like a storm. After which, they maintained a distance from each other while a thought passed through their hearts. Vast and mighty spiritual strengths poured out from between their eyebrows. Due to the reminder of Elder Cheng earlier, Xiao Yan did not scatter his spiritual strength into a net shape. Instead, he gathered it into an invisible hand that grabbed the densely packed dark black soul testing beads with lightning-like speed. Of course, perhaps using the word adhere was more appropriate because the large invisible hand did not randomly grab around. Instead, it found its target before two invisible fingers quickly rushed out. 
after which, the bead would steadily be pincered between two spiritual fingers. It is indeed very heavy. Xiao Yan shivered within his heart when he sensed this weight. His eyes swiftly swept around, only to see Bai Ying and Qiu Ju dodging the soul-testing beads that were smashing down in a somewhat miserable manner. The spiritual strength that spread over their heads did not slow down the soul-testing beads even a little. Instead, the beads penetrated through their spiritual strength. Clearly, this was due to their spiritual strength being overly scattered. Other than these two people, the situation of Cao Xu and Dan Xuan was significantly better. Although they appeared to be running around in circles due to this being their first time, they quickly adapted to the challenge. They tried their best to gather their spiritual strength together. After which, they did not act greedily as they received the falling soul-testing beads from the sky one at a time. After Xiao Yan had received the first soul-testing bead, he had clearly appeared much calmer. He also understood the weight and uniqueness of this soul-testing bead. Immediately, a thought passed through his heart. The large spiritual hand whizzed out, carrying the low and deep sound of rushing wind. One by one, the dark black soul tessing beads were continuously grabbed by his hand before they were gently suspended beside him. One bead, two bead, three bead, four bead. All the eyes within the hall became anxious as they looked at the soul testing beads that were continuously added to the black colored bead circle around Xiao Yan's body. The many gazes within the large hall became anxious as they quietly counted the number of soul testing beads within their hearts. 43, 44. While soul testing beads were continuously being added to the area around Xiao Yan, Qiu Qi and Bai Ying had no choice but to withdraw due to their soul being unable to withstand the heavy burden. When they withdrew, a total of 31 and 43 soul testing beads remained suspended in front of them. Cao Xiu also helplessly withdrew soon after Qiu Qi and Bai Ying did so. There were 56 soul testing beads suspended in front of him. Only Xiao Yan and Dan Xuan were still persisting after Cao Xiu withdrew. However, Dan Xuan's expression gradually became a little red as the soul testing beads continued to fall. His breathing also quietly became more intense. Huh. After enduring for another few minutes, Dan Xuan finally exhaled for a long time. He glanced at the soul testing beads suspended in front of him. There were 66 of them. Boom boom boom. A breath was exhaled from his mouth. Dan Xuan also sensed that he had already unleashed his spiritual strength to its limit. At this moment, any additional soul testing beads would be the final straw that would cause the camel to collapse. Dan Xuan's heart relaxed and his spiritual strength scattered. The soul testing beads floating in front of him appeared to have immediately lost their support as they emitted a clear banging sound while falling one by one the ground. Xiao Yan smiled when Dan Xuan automatically admitted defeat. He ceased continuing to catch soul testing beads. His finger gently rubbed the many soul testing beads in front of him. After which, the soul testing beads began to rotate around his body at high speed, emitting a whistling, wild wind. 93, thank you for going easy on me. Xiao Yan pressed his finger gently, and the rotating beads slowly stopped. He flicked his finger, and the many soul testing beads fell down. Immediately, he cupped his hands to Dan Xuan and the rest. He smiled and thanked them. Dan Xuan and the other competitors could only bitterly laugh in the face of Xiao Yan's smile. From Xiao Yan's leisurely manner, it was obvious that he had yet to use all his strength. Even though this was the case, the result he had obtained had already broken the record set by Cao Ying. Bai Ying's face was green. However, he no longer dared to speak any mocking words. Xiao Yan's performance during the two rounds of tests had already caused him to clearly understand that Xiao Yan's strength was indeed far from what he could compare with. Clap clap. After the soul testing beads around Xiao Yan fell to the ground, a loud applause immediately sounded within the large hall. The performance of Xiao Yan during these two rounds let everyone know that the Yi clan had been saved. The corner of Cao Ying's mouth lifted amid this applause. Her pretty eyes studied that somewhat skinny back. A faint fiery heat was present in her eyes. During all these years, that little girl from the Dan clan, Dan Chen, was the only person she had seriously viewed as an opponent among the alchemists of her generation. Now. Perhaps, there was an additional young person called Xiao Yan. Elder Cheng smiled as watched Xiao Yan. There was a satisfied expression that could not be hidden on his face. 93 beads, 4 more beads than the amount Cao Ying had grabbed back then. Moreover, from the leisurely appearance of Xiao Yan, it was obvious that he had done it casually and had yet to put in all his effort. Not bad. Not bad. Elder Cheng continuously uttered two not bad. 
when one reached this level of his, one would be less concerned about power or whatever. He liked to see more and more outstanding young people appear within the Pill Tower because only through members of the younger generation would the liveliness and potential of the Pill Tower be guaranteed. Xiao Yan still remains first in this second segment. Dan Xuan is second, while Cao Xiu is third. Yi Zhong and Xin Lan from the Yi clan's seats revealed an even denser smile on their faces when they heard Elder Cheng's announcement from the arena. Xiao Yan's performance had completely exceeded their expectations from the beginning. In this five great clan test, Xiao Yan had truly let them know what was called domination. Elder Cheng in the arena fondled his beard and spoke with a grin, spiritual strength is the foundation of an alchemist. However, this test of ours only intends to test one's soul, but it also requires one to display spiritual attacks. After all, this is one a pretty good attacking method of an alchemist. The final test is very simple. The five of you will enter this circle and use your spiritual strength to fight each other. The last person remaining in the circle is the victor. Elder Cheng pointed at a hundred-foot-large red circle as he stated with a smile. The five of them nodded upon hearing his words. They were just about to enter the circle when a lovely laugh suddenly sounded within the hall. Elder Cheng. The Cao clan wishes to place a substitute midway through. May I know if we are allowed to do so? All the gazes within the large hall turned and finally paused on Cao Ying's alluring curves. Her curves were prominently revealed as she placed her hands on the table and leaned her lovely body forward. Elder Cheng was startled. He began to slightly frown. Ha ha, Elder Cheng. According to the rules, the clan who won the last competition has the right to one substitute. Relax, I will not try anything funny. It is just that my hands are itchy and wish to give it a try. Moreover, you can also treat it as though the cow clan has given up, so you can eliminate the cow clan. It will not influence the results of the test. What do you say? Cao Ying curled her mouth into a slight smile. Her soft question was clearly directed at Xiao Yan. End of chapter. Chapter 1147. Spiritual Fight. The interior of the large hall had become much quieter because Cao Ying's sudden request. Numerous gazes alternated between her and Xiao Yan. From the looks of it, it appeared that this witch from the Cao clan had become itchy due to Xiao Yan, having broken two of the records she had set. All the people with ill thoughts for the Yi clan involuntarily began to gloat when they saw what she wanted to do. Now that things had developed to this extent, they had already understood that the Yi clan had retained its position among the five great clans, with Xiao Yan's help. Even if Cao Ying were to intervene now, Xiao Yan would definitely be able to claim the second spot, even if he could not take the first. Hence, the overall situation had already been determined. Of course, despite the overall situation having already been determined, being able to see Xiao Yan suffer a little in Cao Ying's hands was also another kind of revenge. Hence, sounds of agreement appeared within the large hall after Cao Ying had opened her mouth. Elder Cheng slightly frowned. His expression was also a little helpless. He knew that Cao Ying's outer appearance might be smiling, but her heart was quite cold. The reason she would suddenly do something like this might indeed be partly because her hands were itchy, but an even larger part of it was to diminish Xiao Yan's grand aura. Elder Cheng mused for a moment before turning his eyes to Xiao Yan. He was not extremely against this matter. Xiao Yan's talent was indeed extremely great, but it was not a bad thing to grind away some of his spirit. The eyes of everyone in building gathered on Xiao Yan, awaiting his decision. Xiao Yan stared at Cao Ying, who had curled her mouth into a slight smile. A moment later, he also slightly grinned as he said, since Miss Cao Ying has already put it this way, I, Xiao Yan, would appear to be someone without bearing if I do not play with her. An alluring smile was revealed on Cao Ying's exquisitely enchanting face when she heard Xiao Yan's words. She covered her mouth and laughed, Mr. Xiao Yan really has a way with words. Cao Ying's hand gently tapped the table after she replies. Her body drifted over like a butterfly. After which, she gently landed in the arena. Her pretty eyes landed on Cao Xiu and softly said, Big brother Cao Xiu, allow me to come and play. Cao Xiu helplessly shook his head. Cao Ying's position within the Cao clan was extremely high. Even the clan had to treat her words seriously. Moreover, Cao Ying had been reaffirmed as the leader of the Cao clan's group during this trip. They needed to treat any words she said as orders to be carried out. Hence, despite knowing Cao Ying's actions contained a little willfulness, he could only slowly withdraw from the arena and head back to the seats of the Cao clan. Elder Cheng did not say much after hearing Xiao Yan agree. 
He pointed at the red circle on the ground and said, since there are no questions, please enter the arena. Xiao Yan's five-person group nodded upon hearing his words. After which, they entered in an orderly manner. They stayed a certain distance apart from one another because everyone understood that everyone was their opponent at this moment. They needed to ensure a safe distance. The five of them occupied five spots in the red circle. After which, all of them sat down with their legs crossed. They were using spiritual strength to fight, not do ki. At this level of theirs, their spiritual strength was already able to leave their bodies and launch attacks. Hence, they did not need to shift their bodies. Elder Cheng slowly stepped back when he saw that the five of them were prepared. He suddenly waved his hand and spoke in a deep voice, let the test begin. Five waves of vast and mighty spiritual strength surged out of the bodies of the five competitors after Elder Cheng's cry sounded. After which, the spiritual strength lingered over the surface of their bodies. Their eyes were cautious as they looked around them. Their vast mighty invisible spiritual strengths covered the entire arena. The faint spiritual pressure caused some of the people within the large hall to feel suppressed. This kind of feeling originated from deep within one's soul and was completely unrelated to the might of one's do key. The fight within the arena was a fight of a different domain. Cough. The stalemate in the arena continued for a while before it was finally broken by a sudden coughing sound that had originated from an unknown place. Five vast mighty spiritual strengths turned into five invisible, large pythons that surged from between their eyebrows with lightning-like speed. After which, they began to explode in the middle in an extremely chaotic manner. Bang! An invisible spiritual ripple spread out from the point of collision, and a wild wind was suddenly formed. It whistled within the large hall. The wild wind caused wave after wave of rustling sounds to form within the large hall. This powerful spiritual collision caused the five figures within the red circle to tremble. It was still all right for Xiao Yan and Cao Ying. Their shoulders slightly shook before recovering to normal. On the other hand, Dan Xuan's, Bai Ying's, and Qiu Ji's bodies were forced back quite a distance by that force. Xiao Yan's eyes were locked intently on Cao Ying, who was over a hundred feet in front. He knew that she was the strongest opponent in this battle. During that soul collision earlier, the other party had clearly targeted him. It was fortunate that he was already prepared. Thus, he did not appear overly miserable during this first exchange. Dan Xuan and the other two were all people who were implicated in their battle. Xiao Yan's and Cao Ying's spiritual strength was far from what they could compare with. Dan Xuan and the two others also sensed this kind of situation. Although they were a little unwilling to resign to it, it was still the truth. There was no other way to put it. The gap was there. No matter how they struggled and resisted, there would not be much of a change. This spiritual fight was completely a fight between Xiao Yan and Cao Ying. The two of them were the true main characters. Bai Ying was present in a corner. His eyes were sinister as he looked at Xiao Yan. There was an unwillingness within his eyes. He was a dazzling person within the Bai clan. However, he had ended up as a supporting character to Xiao Yan today. How could he willingly accept this? He is indeed not simple. Cao Ying's hand parted the black hair that had fallen in front of her forehead. The smile on her enchanting face became more bewitching. Her hands formed a seal before suddenly solidifying. Her vast mighty spiritual strength swiftly gathered around her after her hand seal was formed. Within the blink of an eye, it transformed into a spiritual phoenix. The phoenix flapped both of its wings, and space itself swiftly became distorted. There was even a faint, dark black spatial crack spreading from it. Although the spiritual phoenix was invisible, the pressure that spread from it caused the solemn eyes of quite a number of people in the large hall to pause on the empty space in front of Cao Ying. Go! Cao Ying's finger gently pressed against empty air. A clear phoenix cry suddenly resounded over the large hall. That spiritual phoenix flapped its wings as it carried a wild wind and rushed toward Xiao Yan. With the speed of the spiritual phoenix, it appeared in the air above Xiao Yan within an instant. When it was about to strike him, Xiao Yan suddenly opened his shut eyes. A cold cry erupted from his mouth. Break. An enormous invisible hand suddenly formed when the word sounded. After which, it violently smashed into the head of the spiritual phoenix. Bang. The wind crossed each other and carried a wave of a wild and fierce spiritual storm. The hard ground was cracked apart, forming numerous arm-sized lines. The spiritual storm arrived quickly and disappeared quickly. Xiao Yan's body, which was seated on the ground, was forcefully pushed back by that terrifying force for a distance of three steps. 
On the other hand, Cao Ying borrowed the advantage the attacker and merely moved back a distance of two steps. Even though this was the case, it still caused quite a number of people present to be greatly shocked. They did not expect Xiao Yan to possess the qualification to collide with this witch without falling to a disadvantage. The storm not only caused Xiao Yan and Cao Ying to move back. Dan Xuan and the other two competitors were pushed back a couple of meters once again. Immediately, they let out bitter laughs. Dan Xuan and Qiu Ji stood up, cupped their hands to Elder Cheng, before leaving the area of the Red Circle. In the face of such a situation, they would merely be playing a supportive role if they continued to stay. Bai Ying tightly clenched his teeth after the two people gave up. He looked at Xiao Yan, who was only focusing on Cao Ying. A dark, vicious expression flashed across his eyes. His hand seal suddenly changed. Spiritual strength erupted from his body without being held back. After which, it transformed into an invisible, large python. It carried a sharp, fierce aura as it rushed toward Xiao Yan. You don't know your limits. Xiao Yan knit his brows after sensing Bai Ying's sudden attack. His eyes immediately became icy cold as it was turned toward Bai Ying. He waved his sleeve and an incomparably vast, mighty spiritual pillar shot out and collided with the python. Bang! When the two collided, the seemingly fierce and vicious spiritual python immediately crumpled. Bai Ying's face quickly paled, and a mouthful of fresh blood was involuntarily spat out. His body was just like a kite with its string broken as he flew out. Finally, he violently smashed into the ground. Numerous exclamations sounded within the large hall after everyone saw Xiao Yan randomly defeat Bai Cheng until he was left in a miserable state. The people from the Bai clan faced each other. Their moods immediately became dispirited. They no longer felt the pride that they had displayed earlier. The most outstanding person from their clan could only occupy the lowest supporting role. Xiao Yan did not even blink his eyes after randomly defeating Bai Ying. His eyes refocused on Cao Ying, who displayed an enchanting smile. Her smile contained a kind of dangerous feeling similar to that of being targeted by a poisonous snake. You are indeed very strong and did not do your best during those tests earlier. Cao Ying slowly spread her long arms. Her gentle snake-like body caused quite a number of men to feel the impulse of thinking other thoughts. Xiao Yan's expression did not change in the face of Cao Ying's laughter. He knew that this lady in front of him might be beautiful, but she was a beautiful snake that would eat people alive. If he had a lapse of judgment while he fought with her, it would light the fuse of one's defeat. There are currently only the two of us. Let's not delay things any longer. As long as you can receive three of my spiritual handprints, I will withdraw from the match. Of course, even if you withdraw now, you can still preserve your second position. The Yi clan can still be saved. Therefore, are you going to receive my attacks or are you going to leave? Cao Ying sweetly smiled. Her hands were spread in front of her. She appeared perfect, just like a masterpiece. Her beauty caused many hearts to throb. End of chapter. Chapter 1148. Secretly Learn. Xiao Yan looked at Cao Ying when she suddenly smiled. He naturally knew that the Yi clan would successfully retain its spot in the five great clans if he were to pull out now. However, the other party had already made such an offer. If he were to withdraw now, he would end up appearing weak. Moreover, Xiao Yan was also extremely interested in Cao Ying, who was called a potential successor of the great heads of the Pill Tower. This was because he knew that Cao Ying would also participate in the Pill Gathering. At that time, she would definitely be a great opponent of his. If he could exchange blows with her here, he would be able to gauge her skill a little better. He would not end up being caught off guard at that time. Of course, the fight between spiritual strengths was naturally unable to represent the strength of one's alchemist abilities. However, being able to observe something and gain a rough estimation of the other party's strength was helpful. Due to the various reasons stated above, Xiao Yan would naturally not choose to voluntarily withdraw. Hence, he needed to receive Cao Ying's provocation. Xiao Yan slowly nodded after making up his mind in his heart. His eyes stared at Cao Ying as he said, Miss Cao Ying, please. The smile on Cao Ying's face became even more filled with temptation when she heard his reply. She covered her mouth and laughed in a lovely manner, Mr. Xiao Yan does indeed possess an extraordinary demeanor. However, if this is the case, this young lady shall reveal my incompetence. After her soft laugh slowly sounded, Cao Ying slowly extended her long white hand. She immediately formed a strange hand seal. When this hand seal was formed, Xiao Yan abruptly discovered a vast mighty spiritual strength was swiftly forming in her palm. He could vaguely see a partially visible handprint in that distorted space. 
Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at the hand imprint of Cao Ying. He knit his brows slightly while feeling amazed in his heart. This hand seal was able to maneuver spiritual strength and agglomerate it into an attacking form. He could sense that the spiritual strength gathered on her palm was not weaker than the spiritual phoenix earlier. However, the might of the two was very different. In other words, this strange hand seal of Cao Ying possessed the unique ability to gather spiritual strength and strengthen it. This kind of effect was somewhat similar to Du Technique. The alchemists from ancient times were able to unleash the might of the spiritual strength to its limit, and they could even compare with the Du Techniques of some experts. This kind of technique is called a soul skill by the alchemist from ancient times. Cao Ying's hand maintained that strange hand seal. She revealed a smile to Xiao Yan and softly said, currently most of the soul skills have already vanished. However, I am using a kind of soul skill that has yet to disappear. It should be quite strong. Be careful. Soul skill. Xiao Yan felt a chill in his heart when he heard her words. His eyes immediately became a little heated as he looked at the strange hand seal maintained in Cao Ying's hands. He had heard Tian Ho Zun Ji mention these things before. However, the thing that caused him to feel a little uncertain was that the soul skill Tian Ho Zun Ji had mentioned were soul training methods. Compared with what Cao Ying was displaying. Clearly this soul skill was a spiritual attacking method that could not be used for training. Could it be that soul skills are also divided into offensive and training types? Xiao Yan muttered in his heart. This kind of situation was likely one that could only be described if one explained it by categories. Even though this was the case, Xiao Yan still wanted the handprint soul skill of Cao Ying. After all, with this thing, the might of his spiritual strength would soar. This was another type of life preservation skill to him. Soul skills were just like do techniques. If an expert who practiced Du Qi did not have a Du technique, he would only be able to rely on the power of his Du Qi to fight another. However, he would definitely be at a disadvantage if he fought with someone who possessed a Du technique. This was the situation Xiao Yan was currently facing. Cao Ying possessed a soul skill and was able to unleash her spiritual strength to its maximum. However, he could only rely on the might of his spiritual strength to block her. If this continued for long, Xiao Yan would naturally suffer a disadvantage. Xiao Yan's eyes studied Cao Ying's strange hand seal. The way he looked at was as though he was planning to firmly remember it in his mind. The corner of Cao Ying's mouth was lifted slightly after appearing to have sensed Xiao Yan's eyes. Immediately, her hand seals changed in a lightning-like manner, forming some illusory figures that caused one's eyes to be dazzled. A cold cry was clearly emitted from her mouth. Mysterious spiritual palm imprint. After the cry sounded, Cao Ying's vast and mighty spiritual strength coagulated on her hand. A spiritual handprint that was similar to a palm rushed out as fast as lightning. It forcefully tore through space, forming a dark black gap. Although the spiritual handprint was invisible, this kind of unusual pressure caused even those people a great distance away to feel some difficulty breathing. Xiao Yan naturally did not dare to slight Cao Ying's attack. His expression was solemn as a majestic spiritual strength surged from between his eyebrows. After which, it agglomerated into a large spiritual fist that ruthlessly struck the spiritual handprint. Bang! The large spiritual fist and the handprint collided with a bang. An invisible ripple of wind erupted from the point of the collision. A powerful wave rolled across the open ground below. The hard stone floor emitted a bang as it cracked into fragments. Xiao Yan's body was shaken by that terrifying invisible force until he flew over a distance of 10 steps when the two collided. Only then did he slowly stop. At this moment, he was less than a hundred feet from the red boundary line. Again. Xiao Yan had undoubtedly fell into a disadvantage with this first true exchange. However, his face did not reveal the slightest dispirited expression. On the other hand, he suddenly raised his head, stared at Cao Ying with hot eyes, and commanded her in a deep voice. Surprise flashed across Cao Ying's beautiful spring water-like eyes when she saw that Xiao Yan had been pushed back a distance of around 10 steps when receiving this palm imprint of hers. She clearly understood the might of this palm of hers. Even some tier 7 high-grade alchemists would not have an easy time receiving it, yet Xiao Yan had managed. This fellow is really not a simple person. He might be a great opponent during this pill gathering, much like Dan Chen. Cao Ying's eyes slightly flickered. The smile on her face became more alluring. She possessed a haughty character that desired to win. Her greatest desire was not to be invisible, but she truly wanted to meet some people who possessed a qualification to be her opponent. In the past, Dan Chen was one of them. 
However, that girl was usually well hidden by the Dan clan, afraid that some accident might happen to her. If not for big matters, she would not leave the Dan clan. This was why Cao Ying felt itchy handed when she saw Xiao Yan. Cao Ying gently inhaled a breath of air. Her voluminous chest rose in the process. Both of her hands were extended, and each of them formed a unique hand seal. Immediately. Both of her hands appeared to be fighting each other as they changed with lightning-like speed. Numerous incomparably majestic spiritual strengths began to linger between both of her palms after the change of the seal formed by her hands. An unusual spiritual pressure caused the faces of quite a number of those in the hall to slightly change. Although those seated were not ordinary people, they had seldom seen anyone who could use their spiritual strength to such an extent. After all, the training of Du Qi was the mainstream method of this era. Something as mysterious as one's soul was only strengthened with the strengthening of Du Qi. Hence, they felt some disbelief in their hearts when they saw that Cao Ying was able to unleash her spiritual strength to such an extent. Xiao Yan's eyes were heated as he watched Cao Ying's hand seals swiftly change. A wisp of jade green flame slowly rose in both of his dark black eyes as the spiritual pressure headed his way. When the flame rose, Xiao Yan suddenly discovered that Cao Ying's lightning fast hand seals had become extremely slow at this moment. The hand seals that an ordinary person would find baffling caused Xiao Yan to suddenly feel a kind of empowering understanding. Xiao Yan's spiritual control had reached a high level. This soul skill was a method to use the smallest amount of strength to unleash the greatest might. No one had explained it to Xiao Yan in the past. However, after Cao Ying had displayed this soul skill in front of him today, she seemed to have helped him open up a totally new world. The many times of confusion he felt in the past on how to display spiritual strength was suddenly resolved at this moment. Xiao Yan had never lacked any treasure. What he had lacked was a key to open it. Bang! Cao Ying's lightning-like hand seals suddenly stilled. At this moment, her hands were maintaining a kind of mysterious seal. An ordinary person would only feel completely confused when looking at it because this kind of seal was completely unrelated to the seals for a do technique. A gentle smile flashed across Cao Ying's face after her hand seal was formed. Immediately, her left hand was suddenly pushed forward. When the hand seal moved, a vast mighty palm print rushed out like a tiger that had descended from the mountains. A low, deep tiger roar resounded within the soul of everyone in the hall. That invisible, majestic palm imprint was swiftly magnified in front of Xiao Yan's eyes. His hair had also been blown until it drifted in the air. The ground in front of him, which had turned to pieces, began to emit cracking sounds as the pieces were shattered into dust. Roar. While the palm imprint was being magnified in Xiao Yan's eyes, a low, deep roar suddenly erupted from Xiao Yan's throat. He changed his fist to a palm, and his fingers rapidly flashed. At the same time, he began to form a couple of seals in a somewhat unfamiliar manner. The seals had just been formed when that vast mighty palm suddenly arrived. It heavily struck Xiao Yan's palm. Boom. An invisible ripple surged out like a wave. Xiao Yan's seated body shot back, leaving behind a deep gully along the way. Boom. Xiao Yan's fist violently smashed against the ground. It formed a ten-foot deep pit before his body was stabilized. He slightly turned his head, only to see that there were only three meters or so until the red line. Xiao Yan had once again received her attack in a miserable fashion. However, the searing heat within his eyes became more intense. He stared at Cao Ying and laughed, again. Cao Ying's expression slightly changed. She inhaled a deep breath of air. Her right hand maintained a seal for a moment before it slowly changed. After which, a majestic palm that was a couple of times stronger than earlier appeared just like a storm. It carried a soul-stirring dragon roar, which resounded over the hall. Xiao Yan suddenly widened his eyes when Cao Ying's palm print, accompanied by a spiritual storm, rushed away from her palm. His fist changed to a palm, and his palm into a seal. When Xiao Yan's extremely unfamiliar hand seal was unleashed, his vast, mighty spiritual strength began to swiftly agglomerate with a kind of special trajectory. Cao Ying's eyes suddenly narrowed when she saw Xiao Yan's hand seal. A shocked expression appeared on her face for the first time. This was because the unsmooth hand seal was the exact same hand seal she had unleashed earlier. End of chapter. Chapter 1149 being victorious. Xiao Yan's hand seal was choppy and slow. He appeared like someone who had just learned it. While his hand seals were being formed, the majestic spiritual strength that permeated around him was swiftly gathered. An invisible spiritual palm print vaguely formed around his palm. 
However, this palm print being formed was a little illusionary when compared to Cao Ying's. Cao Ying's eyes were shocked as she stared at the hand seal, which Xiao Yan was unfamiliar with. It was as though a great storm was churning in her heart. She had never expected Xiao Yan to remember all of her hand seals in his mind within this short instant. Of course, the thing that caused her to feel the greatest disbelief was that Xiao Yan had not only memorized the changing hand seals, but he was also able to use them after just seeing them. When Cao Ying had come into contact with this soul skill for the first time, she had practiced it for a long while before she was able to gradually understand the combination method between the spiritual strength and the finger seals. However, at this moment, Xiao Yan was able to do this after a short few minutes. This kind of thing. Even she, who was said to possess demonic talent, could not help but feel shocked. Of course, this did not mean that Xiao Yan's talent far exceeded that of Cao Ying's talent. After all, his spiritual strength had already been displayed until the pinnacle during these years of training. This spiritual handprint that Cao Ying had displayed was not a very high-class soul skill. Hence, Xiao Yan being able to fiddle around and grasp some of its tricks was not something difficult to understand. Xiao Yan had already established an incomparably firm foundation for basic things. As long as he was given some opportunity, the difficulty he would experience while mastering a soul skill would be many times easier than that of an ordinary person. These things were all things that Cao Ying was unaware of. It was due to this that she still felt incomparably shocked upon seeing this scene. The huge spiritual storm quickly became larger in Xiao Yan's eyes. As the spiritual pressure neared, Xiao Yan's quick and choppy hand motions became more smooth, and the changes in his fingers started to seem like he was almost done. Xiao Yan's eyes were staring firmly at the spiritual storm that was rushing over. An instant later, his changing hand seals suddenly paused. A low, deep cry erupted from his throat. Ha! The cry was just like thunder. After which, his mysterious palm print was heavily pushed forward. The sharp sound of whistling wind suddenly resonated within the large hall after the palm was pushed out. That invisible palm imprint carried some permeating spiritual strength as it collided with that spiritual storm in front of the anxious eyes within the large hall. Bang! The two collided and a low, deep explosion immediately resounded over the interior of the large hall. The souls of quite a number of people emitted a piercing pain at this moment. Crash! Invisible spiritual ripples swept out from the point of collision and spread over the stone floor of the arena. At this moment, the floor was completely shattered into a cluster of powder. Dust flew in all directions, causing the visibility of the large hull to be significantly reduced. The raging spiritual storm continued for nearly one minute or so before it slowly disappeared. At this moment, those miserable human figures were finally able to stand up. After which, numerous eyes instantly turned to the arena that had been destroyed and was completely different now. Dust gradually settled on the arena. The scene within was absorbed by the eyes of everyone in the hall. Xiao Yan was seated on a rock platform that was less than one meter in radius. There were a couple of bottomless holes in front of him. At this moment, his sleeves were completely tattered. His appearance was a little miserable. The area within a 30-foot radius around Cao Ying, who was in front of Xiao Yan, was fine. Even the clothes on her body still appeared clean. However, the current her revealed a solemn expression. Her eyes were unblinking as she stared at Xiao Yan across from her. From the appearance of the two, it was obvious that Xiao Yan was at a disadvantage. Elder Cheng, who had already withdrew into the distance, finally sighed in relief after seeing that the fight between the two of them had come to an end. After which, he drifted over. His eyes looked all around him as he involuntarily shook his head with a bitter smile. These two people were really destructive manics. Three palms are up. You have won. Cao Ying gently sighed. She elegantly stood up and softly informed him. Xiao Yan slightly smiled when he heard her words. He stood up, coincidentally revealing the red line behind him. He had received all of her three palms and was not sent out of the red circle. According to the rules, he had won this match. Cao Ying's words had just sounded when the interior of the large hall immediately became much quieter. The expressions of those members of the Cao clan had become a lot stiffer. They had never expected Cao Ying to lose. This bastard is really lucky. Cao Dan's face was green as he softly cursed. Xiao Yan is not an ordinary person. Other than Cao Ying, none of the members of the younger generation within the Cao clan could contend with him. Cao Xiu faintly continued. This is only the initial exchange. If they meet during the pill gathering, Xiao Yan might not be able to beat Cao Ying. Cao Dan's expression became uglier upon hearing Cao Xiu words. 
he had once exchanged blows with Xiao Yan. Back then, Xiao Yan might have been very strong, but he had definitely not reached this current level. Clearly, during these short few months, the other party was swiftly improving. However, this improvement speed was really a little too shocking. The silence within the interior of the large hall continued for a moment before it was broken by waves of soft surprised gasps. It was the first time that they had seen Cao Ying admitting defeat in front of someone from the same generation during all these years. The name Cao Ying was really too well known within the Pill region. The title of which contained a reputation under her fierce and incomparable ability. It was indeed very difficult to find someone from the same generation who was comparable to her. Yi Zhong and Xin Lan in the Yi clan's seats revealed faces that were filled with shock and excitement because Xiao Yan's result. Xiao Yan had submitted a perfect answer sheet during this test that caused even them to feel disbelief. First in all three sections. This result was likely something that the Yi clan had only obtained during its peak. The Yi clan is saved. The little fairy doctor and Yan Ho Zun Ji also smiled after seeing the excitement-filled faces of those two. Her pretty eyes immediately slid to the skinny back in the arena. He had never disappointed anyone from the start. No matter who his opponent was, he never lost his confidence. It was this kind of confidence, filled with vitality, that enabled Xiao Yan to be filled with an exceptionally alluring charm. A person must ultimately believe in oneself in order to obtain true success. Miss Cao Ying, thank you for going easy on me. If you were to really attack with another palm, I might no longer possess the ability to receive it. Xiao Yan randomly tore off the tattered parts of his sleeves in the arena. After which, he cupped his hands to Cao Ying and laughed in a clear voice. You are thinking of secretly learning the spiritual handprint of mine, right? Cao Ying spoke in a half-smiling manner while she lifted her pretty eyes after seeing Xiao Yan's free and easy-going manner. Xiao Yan was involuntarily a little embarrassed upon hearing Cao Ying's straightforward. This spiritual handprint was not very difficult to learn. It was likely not a very high-class soul skill. However, for him, who had never practiced a soul skill, it was undoubtedly a rare treasure one would have a difficult time finding, even if one had a vast amount of gold. Cao Ying covered her mouth and laughed when she saw Xiao Yan's embarrassment. She gently shifted her footsteps and walked to his side. Her watery eyes stared at Xiao Yan's face as she cunningly laughed, if Mr. Xiao Yan has the time, we might perhaps be able to privately have an exchange. I also know some other soul skills. It will depend on whether you have the ability to secretly learn them. A faint fragrance came flying over. Xiao Yan looked at the bewitching face that was within close proximity. A ripple rose within his heart along with some caution. His face was expressionless as he smiled and said, if I have the time, I will definitely find Miss Cao Ying to spar. Although he had luckily won this fight, Xiao Yan understood that this was a warm-up for a witch like Cao Ying. After this exchange, Xiao Yan clearly understood that this witch from the Cao clan was indeed not an ordinary person. She definitely possessed the ability to fight for the top three spots during this pill gathering. This was because Xiao Yan could sense that Cao Ying had never truly used all her strength since the beginning. This time around, he relied a little on his luck in order to secretly learn the spiritual handprint Cao Ying had displayed. Moreover, Cao Ying would naturally not share all of the soul skills she practiced with him as she had said. With what happened this time around, she would definitely prevent such a thing from happening again when she sparred with Xiao Yan in the future. Therefore, Xiao Yan could just imagine attempting to secretly learn those soul skills. Based on Xiao Yan's guesses, this witch was likely a little displeased at having suffered a small loss this time around. Therefore, she wanted to find a chance to get back at him. Cao Ying was unconcerned when she saw Xiao Yan's vague reply. After this contact, she had gained a simple understanding of Xiao Yan's character that completely ignored what others said. She understood that the person in front of her would not easily fall for her beauty like the other men. However, everything must be like this in order to be somewhat challenging, no? The pill gathering is about to begin. Hopefully, I will be able to meet you there. I know. Earlier, you also held back. Cao Ying's pretty eyes meaningfully studied Xiao Yan. After which, the corner of her mouth was lifted into an arc that was filled with temptation. She immediately turned around and walked out of the large hall, leaving Xiao Yan with the sight of a lazy yet haughty figure. Xiao Yan looked at that figure and gently sighed. This woman was not easy to deal with. End of chapter. Chapter 1150. Unwelcome guest. Everyone within the hall watched as Cao Ying led the members of the Cao clan out of the hall. They faced each other and quietly sighed. 
No one had expected such a dark horse to suddenly appear in this five great clan test. Even Cao Ying from the Cao clan could not suppress him. Some people did not wish to stay for long after the test ended. Hence, they began to turn around and leave one after another. Some of the factions which had some relationship with the Yi clan in the past also began to greet Yi Zhong at this moment. Although the Yi clan had declined, they had managed to keep their position within the five great clans. In the future, they would also maintain an elder's seat. Their position might not be comparable to the Cao clan, but it was not something that an ordinary faction could compare with. Yi Zhong smiled in the face of the greetings by these people. The Yi clan might have some time to breath during this period of time, but they did not have the capital to be arrogant. After experiencing days of decline and desperation, Yi Zhong clearly knew what words to say that would be beneficial to the Yi clan in the future. Xiao Yan randomly replaced the clothes on his upper body. After which, he slowly walked to the Yi clan's seats and smiled at Yi Zhong and the others. Big brother Xiao Yan, are you all right? Xin Lan hurriedly inquired after seeing Xiao Yan walk over. Xiao Yan grinned and waved his hand. He was just about to speak when his eyes slid. He saw the Dan clan walking toward them with Dan Xuan at the front. Greetings to Elder Yi Zhong. Dan Xuan cupped his hands to Yi Zhong before swinging his head to Xiao Yan. He smiled and said, Kiki, Mr. Xiao Yan really surprises others. It is unexpected that even Cao Ying is unable to deal with you. Xiao Yan had a good impression of Dan Xuan. He and Cao Xiu were the same in that they were people who would accept their loss and would not act like Bai Ying. Hence, after seeing Dan Xuan taking the initiative to congratulate him, Xiao Yan also smiled as he said, you have witnessed my awkwardness, humble phase. She had yet to use her full strength. Otherwise, I would not have been able to endure her attacks. While he spoke, Xiao Yan's eyes involuntarily slid to the young lady behind Dan Xuan. At this moment, she was staring at him out of curiosity. A bright redness immediately surfaced on her face when she saw Xiao Yan looking over. She immediately shrank her head like an ostrich and hid behind Dan Xuan. Kiki, this is my younger cousin sister. She doesn't really like people she is unfamiliar with. Dan Xuan spoke apologetically. Xiao Yan smiled and shook his head. He had come into contact with this young lady before and knew that there was something strange about her. Moreover, from the way Cao Ying had looked at her earlier, it was obvious that this young lady was someone who did not reveal her true strength. However, Xiao Yan felt surprised that he was unable to sense Dan Chen's spiritual fluctuation. Mr. Xiao Yan, if you have free time in the future, you can come to the Dan Manor within Holy Pill City. At that time, I will definitely share a hearty drink with you. At this moment, the large hall was in a mess and Dan Xuan was unwilling to stay for long. After chatting a little with Xiao Yan, he smiled, cupped his hands together, and gave his goodbye. Xiao Yan's eyes sent Dan Yuan's group out of the large hall. Only then did he turn his head to Yi Zhong's group and shrug his shoulders. This was the good thing about displaying one's strength. It allowed one to be held in high regard by the others. Since the test is over, we should also leave. Xiao Yan stretched his lazily waist and laughed. Wait. A voice suddenly sounded behind Xiao Yan after he uttered those words. Xiao Yan turned his head around with some uncertainty, only to see Elder Cheng hurrying over with a face full of smiles. Elder Cheng, is there a matter? Xiao Yan did not dare to slight Elder Cheng, as he hurriedly asked with a smile. Elder Cheng smiled and fondled his beard. He first turned his eyes to Yi Zhong and sighed, Yi Zhong, congratulations. You have retained your position in the five great clans. This is all thanks to Elder Cheng helping us deal with the situation. The Yi clan will firmly remember this great favor. Yi Zhong bitterly smiled as he replied. Elder Cheng waved his hand. His eyes landed on Xiao Yan as he commented with a smile, however, your Yi clan has really found an outstanding helper this time around. You are called Xiao Yan, right? Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. I have heard of your matter with the Ice River Valley. Yao Chen is your teacher, right? Elder Cheng smiled as he inquired. Xiao Yan's eyes turned slightly cold. Before he could reply, Elder Cheng waved his hand and laughed, there is no need to be so anxious. If we are to talk about it, even the old me received Yao Chen's advice back then. Xiao Yan's heart relaxed a little. He hesitated for a moment and decided not to hide who his teacher was. After which, he slowly nodded his head. Ugh, that old fellow's eyesight is still that sharp. How envious. Elder Cheng sighed. His tone contained an envy that could not be hidden. Xiao Yan could only smile at these words. The reason you have come to the pill region this time around should be because of the pill gathering, right? 
Elder Cheng changed the topic and suddenly asked. Xiao Yan did not hide anything regarding this. He immediately nodded. The pill gathering is about to begin. However, I am hoping for you will come with me to the pill tower before then. Perhaps it might be helpful for you. Elder Cheng fondled his beard and suggested in a serious manner. Xiao Yan was a little started when he heard his words. He asked with some hesitation, go to the pill tower? Xiao Yan had always adopted a fearful and respectful attitude toward the pill tower. This large being was able to rank alongside the Hall of Souls. It was likely that its strength was extremely terrifying. I think that the association head and the others would be interested to meet you. Meeting them would not be detrimental to you. Elder Cheng solemnly explained after having sensed Xiao Yan's hesitation. Association head? Xiao Yan's heart pounded. A person addressed like this by Elder Cheng, who was one of the eight great elders of the Pill Tower. Who else could it be other than the three mysterious heads of the Pill Tower? From what I witnessed, it seemed that you were extremely interested in Cao Ying's spiritual handprint. Her spiritual handprint was learned from the pill tower. Elder Cheng laughed. His voice was tempting. The temptation was not useless. Xiao Yan's eyes turned to Elder Cheng almost immediately. He mused for a moment before slowly nodding. With the strength and position of the pill tower, there was no need for them to play any tricks if they wanted to harm him. Hence, it should be all right to accept. Kiki, let's agree on this matter. I will personally head to the Yi Manor to bring you to the Pill Tower in a couple of days. Elder Cheng finally smiled and replied after seeing Xiao Yan nod. Xiao Yan grinned and nodded again after hearing the elder's words. He chatted for a moment longer with Elder Cheng before leaving the large hall with Yi Zhong and the rest. The smile on Elder Cheng's face was slowly withdrawn as he watched Xiao Yan's back disappear into the distance. He muttered, from what the association head had said, the Hall of Souls will dispatch some people to participate in this pill gathering. This 3,000 burning flames must not land in their hands. Therefore, all the pill tower could do was try its best to search for some trustworthy people with skills to beat the Hall of Souls. The test of the five great clans was considered quite a grand event within the Holy Pill City. Quite a number of factions were paying attention to the outcomes. Hence, soon after the test was over, what had happened within the large hall appeared to have grown wings as the news spread. The Yi clan had obtained the top position. This information was like a heavy bomb to the factions and people waiting for the humiliation of the Yi clan. Many people had even been discussing whether or not the Yi clan was qualified to retain its position among the five great clans. However, this sudden information seemed to have given them a ruthless slap, causing many people to fill with disbelief. After the information began to spread and become clearer, some of the people understood the reason for this matter. All of this was due to a young man named Xiao Yan. Hence, within a short few days, Xiao Yan had become a hot topic within Holy Pill City. Many people were extremely interested in him. A dark horse comparable to Cao Ying had suddenly appeared. While the outside world had turned into an uproar over this matter, Xiao Yan had begun to keep an extremely low profile. He seldom left the Yi Manor, choosing to stay within it all day. He quietly practiced a spiritual handprint he had secretly learned from Cao Ying. Time slowly flowed by amid this quiet training of his. The start of the pill gathering approached following the flow of time. With this approaching pill gathering, a massive crowd began to flood into Holy Pill City. Almost every part of this spacious area was filled with a countless number of human figures. Some of the inns and hotels in the city were completely full. This region had become the place where a countless number of gazes in the Central Plains region gathered. Xiao Yan was seated on a stone chair with his eyes shut in a quiet courtyard deep within the Yi Manor. Both of his hands were forming numerous mysterious hand seals at a very slow rate. If one were to carefully observe, one would discover that these hand seals formed the spiritual handprint Xiao Yan had secretly learned from Cao Ying back then. Although Xiao Yan was considered slow at using these hand seals, he no longer looked as unfamiliar with them as he had back then. Moreover, with the change of his hand seal, the spiritual strength between his eyebrows would automatically spread out. Immediately, it orbited the seals in a unique way. The change in the hand seals continued for around 10 minutes or so before it slowly stopped. Xiao Yan's eyes were slowly opened. A turbid air was gently released from his throat. The turbid air left Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan slowly stood up and placed both of his hands behind him. After which, he turned his body, and his dark black eyes stared at an empty space within the courtyard. He faintly asked, since you are here, why are you still hiding yourself? You are indeed worthy of being that old fellow Yao Chen's disciple. 
your perception is quite good. A slight fluctuation immediately materialized from that empty space after Xiao Yan's voice sounded. Soon after, a human figure wrapped in a black robe slowly surfaced from the distorted space. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at the unwelcome guest. He could sense a familiar feeling from the other party. Someone from the Hall of Souls? Xiao Yan's tone was icy as he suddenly asked. Kiki, I have heard that the bone-chilling flame of that old fellow Yao Chen is with you. I am here to borrow it. The black-robed human figure laughed. A deep blue flame slowly rose from his body after his voice sounded. Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly narrowed when he saw the deep blue flame. See heart flame? End of chapter. Chapter 1151. Mysterious black-robed person. The deep blue-colored flame appeared extremely mysterious. The flame was like transparent sea water that slowly spread apart as it rose. Its faint ripple was just like ripples of water. The glazed lotus heart flame within Xiao Yan's body fluctuated the moment this deep blue flame appeared. He was not unfamiliar with this kind of fluctuation because every time a heavenly flame met another heavenly flame, both flames would form this kind of special fluctuation. Moreover, Xiao Yan was also familiar with this deep blue flame. He had seen it on Han Feng's body back then. Sea Heart Flame, a heavenly flame ranked 15th on the heavenly flame ranking. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at the deep blue flame on the black-robed person's body. A moment later, his voice was a little deep as he asked, Han Feng's Sea Heart Flame? Back when Han Feng had reappeared after having been rescued by the people from the Hall of Souls, he had lost this Sea Heart Flame. From what he had said, it had been taken away by the Hall of Souls. Now, this person, who had suddenly appeared in front of him, was a member of the Hall of Souls. It was obvious that this heavenly flame was the sea heart flame that Han Feng had lost. Kiki, your eyesight is not bad. The black robed person did not deny this as he faintly laughed. Under his black robes, his glowing eyes stared at Xiao Yan in a somewhat heated manner. He said, I know that you possess more than one heavenly flame in your body. The reason I have come to look for you this time around is not to capture you and bring you back to the Hall of Souls. That is something for the others to do. My ultimate aim is the key method you practice. The key method that allows heavenly flames to merge with each other. A killing intent that was difficult to suppress suddenly rose within Xiao Yan's heart as he sensed the searing hot eyes under the black robes. Flame mantra was his greatest secret. Anyone who dared desire it needed to be killed. This is Holy Pill City. The limbs of the Hall of Souls really reach far. Xiao Yan laughed in a cold and dense manner. The dew key within his body appeared like floodwaters as it whizzed and surged forward. His entire body remained in an extremely cautious state. In order for this black-robed person to appear in this place in such a quiet manner, that person's strength must be terrifying. At the very least, Xiao Yan sensed a dangerous aura from the other party that required him to treat this person seriously. That key method is something that I had gotten my hands on first. However, that old fellow Yao Chen used a despicable method to snatch it from me. I am currently only taking back the thing that belongs to me. The black-robed man softly laughed. He raised his head slightly. With the help of the moonlight, one was able to see a little of the man's pale chin. Xiao Yan's eyes immediately focused when he heard this man's words. He knew the flame mantra was something that Yao Lao had found from damaged ruins back then. Moreover, it was rumored that countless numbers of experts had been attracted to the ruins. Although Xiao Yan did not personally witness what happened, he could guess that an intense battle had to have erupted for the things that remained. I know that there are two elite Du Zuns within this place. However, I have already used a spiritual lock in this small courtyard. They will not be able to discover anything for some time. The black-robed person moved his sleeve and a shriveled hand that seemed to be nothing but skin on bone slowly extended from his sleeves. He clenched his hand, and a cluster of deep blue flames was swiftly formed into something like a ball. Hand over the key method and I will spare your life tonight. Xiao Yan coldly laughed. A silver glow flashed under his feet, and he appeared on the wall of the small courtyard. A jade green flame surged out and smashed into the invisible barrier on the wall. Bang. A low, deep sound appeared. Xiao Yan's punch was unable to break the invisible barrier. All it did was cause some ripples to appear. Stubborn fellow. Do you think that you are Yao Chen? The black-robed figure's voice had become cold when he saw what Xiao Yan attempted. He randomly waved his sleeves and the deep blue flame swiftly agglomerated into a blue-colored fire spear. With a swing, the spear cut through the empty air, transforming into a blue shadow that shot toward Xiao Yan with a sharpness. 
Xiao Yan's expression was ice cold. His body shook and the sound of thunder appeared. His body disappeared from the spot almost instantly and dodged the blue colored fire sphere. See, restraining net. The hand of the black robed person suddenly grabbed at the empty space behind him after Xiao Yan's figure disappeared. Numerous deep blue fire lines shot from his five fingers. They swiftly intertwined with each other to form a fire net, which wrapped around the empty air. Chi. An enormous heavy ruler suddenly hacked down and appeared where the fire net had rushed over. It continued down with great might and ruthlessly slammed into the deep blue colored fire net. Sizzle sizzle. The glazed lotus heart flame collided with the sea heart flame, and a sizzling sound immediately erupted. The two types of heavenly flames began to wildly corrode each other. Break. Xiao Yan's eyes turned chilly during the erosion. The jade green flame suddenly erupted and violently danced, forcefully splitting apart the deep blue fire net. Xiao Yan's body swiftly pulled back. While he did so, the jade green flame on his hand was split into two, transforming into the green lotus core flame and the fallen heart flame. After which, they merged once again. Within a short few breaths time, an exquisite jade green fire lotus appeared. With Xiao Yan's current strength, creating this fire lotus by merging of two flames had already reached the point where it was easy as he please. Xiao Yan flicked his finger after the fire lotus was formed. It carried a beautiful fire tail as it rushed toward the black robed person. Xiao Yan waved his hand after the fire lotus rushed over. The earth demon puppet appeared. Under Xiao Yan's order, the puppet charged at the black robed person without any fear of death. At the same time, Xiao Yan's body once again pulled back and appeared by the invisible barrier. Both of his fists appeared like a storm as they swiftly landed on the barrier. This caused the spiritual lock to continuously form ripples. Not a bad do technique. It is able to merge heavenly flames. Looks like that key method has been beneficial to you. The black robed person smiled in a dense manner. The deep blue flame that adhered to his ten fingers swiftly moved in the space in front of him. Immediately, a cluster of deep blue flames agglomerated into the shape of a fireball. After which, the fireball split to form a fissure that swallowed the jade green fire lotus. The deep blue colored fireball had just swallowed the jade green flame when an unusually powerful explosion materialized within it. The fireball exploded apart. Jade green flames shot in all directions, destroying the tidy, small courtyard and turning it into complete chaos. The jade green flame was around five feet from the black robed person when the sea heart flame automatically launched an attack, reflecting it away. Hence, this angry Buddha lotus flame failed to cause even the slightest harm to the black robed person. From this, one could tell just how terrifying the strength of the black robed person was. The black robed person flicked his finger after blocking the attack of the fire lotus. Over a dozen deep blue fire lines shot from the tip of his finger. After which, they firmly trapped the earth demon puppet that had rushed over. It was unable to break the entanglement of the fire ropes, regardless of how it struggled. With your strength, you are still unable to break the spiritual lock that I have placed. The black robed person faintly spoke. He looked at Xiao Yan, who was using his strength to attack the spiritual lock, with indifferent eyes, after easily resolving the fire lotus and the earth demon puppet. Bang! Xiao Yan's fist violently smashed against the barrier. His expression became uglier as he looked at the spreading ripple. It was unexpected that this mysterious black robed person was actually this strong. Based on his guess, the strength of this person had likely reached a three-star or even a four-star Du Zun. Although Xiao Yan's expression was a little ugly, he did not lose focus. This black robed person might be strong, but Xiao Yan was not some persimmon that anyone could randomly need. I do not have much time. If you continue to remain stubborn, you should not blame me for killing you. The black robed man's eyes were indifferent as they stared at Xiao Yan. He gently stepped through empty air and slowly took one step at a time toward Xiao Yan. This was Holy Pill City. His actions must not be made known to others. Otherwise, if those people from the Pill Tower were to discover them, things would definitely be quite troublesome. Xiao Yan's expression became ice cold as he glared at the black robed figure slowly walking over. He flicked his finger and a wisp of jade green flame shot onto the earth demon puppet a short distance away, blasting apart the fire ropes binding its body. The earth demon puppet's body moved after it was freed. It rushed in front of Xiao Yan and stood before him like a metal tower. Xiao Yan widened his mouth after rescuing the earth demon puppet. A jade green flame was spat out before splitting into the green lotus core flame and the fallen heart flame. 
He rubbed the dark black ring on his finger, and a dense white bone chilling flame appeared. Ha ha, three types of heavenly flame? Not bad, not bad. The rumors are indeed true. Looks like I will gain a lot this time around. The black robed person was a little surprised when he saw the three clusters of heavenly flames in front of Xiao Yan. He immediately let out a loud laugh as he clenched his palm. The deep blue flame rushed out of his palm. It slowly spread apart and completely wrapped around him. Looking from a distance, that black robed man appeared just like a fire god, looking extremely mighty. Xiao Yan's eyes were dangerous. He inhaled a deep breath of air, and a grayish white colored flame slowly rolled up his throat. Life transformation flame. A chill surged within Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at this grayish white flame in front of him. He immediately waved his hand, and he started to merge the four types of flames together in front of the stunned gaze of the black robed person. Are you courting death? The expression of the black robed person slightly changed. His body moved, and he transformed into a black shadow that shot toward Xiao Yan with lightning like speed. The deep blue flame was swiftly gushing out of his palm. The speed of the black robed man was extremely swift. He seemed to have merged with space as he had appeared in front of Xiao Yan the moment he moved. His hand was curled, and he carried a sharp force that ruthlessly grabbed at the top of Xiao Yan's head. Xiao Yan was just about to activate his 3000 lightning movement to dodge after sensing the black robed person's sharp attack, when a slight shattering sound suddenly resounded over the courtyard. Xiao Yan swept around, only to find that the invisible barrier that had covered the courtyard had been shattered into a countless number of tiny spiritual fragments. A vast aura suddenly swept down from the stars when the spiritual barrier was broken. At the same time, a calm voice that was filled with vicissitude slowly reverberated over the small courtyard. The territory of the Pill Tower is not one that will allow your hull of souls to act wildly. The face of that black-robed person immediately changed when this voice sounded. He lifted his head to look at the sky as he cried out in a hoarse voice, Shuin Kongzi? End of chapter. Chapter 1152. Old Mu Gu. This sudden unexpected change also surprised Xiao Yan. His eyes swiftly looked to the night sky above his head. However, it was completely empty. There was not a single person there. However, the vast mighty aura spreading down caused him to feel some fear. It's someone from the Pill Tower. Xiao Yan sighed in relief within his heart. The extermination fire lotus he was merging quickly paused before he carefully scattered it. His toes pressed on the ground, and he swiftly pulled back. A clear long roar was also emitted. Swoosh swoosh. The clear roar had just sounded when two figures rushed over to the courtyard as fast as lightning. They had appeared beside Xiao Yan in an instant. At the same time, their eyes were furiously looking at the mysterious black-robed person in the air. Are you alright? The little fairy doctor glanced at the messy courtyard. Her grayish-purple eyes stared at the black-robed person in an icy manner, while her mouth asked a question full of concern. Xiao Yan shook his head and he replied with a deep voice, I'm alright. Be careful. This fellow is not an ordinary person. Tian Ho Zun Ji's face was a little ugly as he stared at the mysterious black robed person. He said with a cold smile, You are an elite Du Zun, no matter how one puts it. Why are you sneaking about? At this moment, the hearts of the little fairy doctor and Tian Ho Zun Ji were undoubtedly furious. From the looks of the courtyard, it was obvious that it had just experienced a big battle. Moreover, the two of them did not sense a thing. The poor protection they provided would really cause one to feel ashamed. The mysterious black-robed man remained suspended in the air. His sinister gaze flickered as he glanced at Xiao Yan. It was unexpected that the old fellows from the Pill Tower had managed to discover him despite him being so careful. His trace had already been locked onto by them. If he continued to stay any longer, it was likely that the experts from the Pill Tower would make it here soon. Xuan Kong Zi, this matter has nothing to do with your Pill Tower. Why must you bother in other people's business? The black-robed person cried out to the sky in a dark voice. Kiki, this is Holy Pill City. If your hall of souls can randomly act atrociously in this place, how will my pill tower account to the public? The voice filled with a vicissitude slowly resonated from the sky. This time around, Xiao Yan could sense that this voice was emitted from empty space. Clearly, the person who had spoken had yet to arrive here. Instead, he was using a mysterious method to deliver his aura and deter this mysterious black-robed person. Old bastard. The black-robed person clenched his teeth and softly cursed. After which, his dark, sinister eyes turned to Xiao Yan. He coldly said, consider yourself lucky. 
The heavenly flames and the key method shall remain with you a little longer. Remember, I will take them back sooner or later. The space behind him instantly distorted after he spoke. His figure became partially visible because of the distorted space. You wish to leave? The little fairy doctor's eyes turned chilly when she saw this. A gray dew key lingered on her hand before suddenly transforming into a grayish pillar that quickly shot through the air, rushing toward the black-robed person. Hee hee, with the two of them protecting you, I am indeed unable to do anything to you. However, you will also not be able to stop me if I wish to leave. The black-robed man let out a cold laugh when he saw the little fairy doctor attempt to stop him. He flicked his finger and a wisp of a deep blue flame shot out of his finger after which, it violently collided with her grayish dew key. Both of them destroyed each other. Xiao Yan, I will come and look for you again. I will definitely take your heavenly flames and your key method the next time we meet. A pair of dense eyes stared at Xiao Yan from under the black robe, after that person easily blocked the little fairy doctor's woeful poison dew key. Immediately, the figure moved his body and entered the distorted space. The space rippled and his body disappeared. I will await you. Xiao Yan's dark black eyes were scary. He could sense that this person was quite strong. However, if they were to engage in an all-out fight, Xiao Yan had the confidence that the other party would not be left in good shape. Damn it. The little fairy doctor involuntarily clenched her silver teeth and softly cursed after watching the black-robed person safely leave. Forget it. Xiao Yan waved his hand. After which, he turned his eyes to the sky, cupped his hands together, and respectfully said, thank you elder for lending a hand. The light of the stars in the sky suddenly agglomerated after Xiao Yan's voice sounded. The light transformed into a blurry elderly light figure. The old voice filled with vicissitude was slowly emitted, the old me cannot step away. The old me can only split my attention and act as a deterrence. This person is extremely mysterious. You should be more careful. If you have the time, you can come to the Pill Tower. You will be very safe there. Thank you, Elder. Xiao Yan once again cupped his hands together. This elderly light figure should be an expert from the Pill Tower. He might even be one of the legendary three great heads. I will naturally need to take good care of the disciple of an old friend. Be careful of the profound Shu insect. They were the ones who revealed information about you to that person earlier. The elderly light figure faintly smiled after which, the starlight fluctuated and slowly scattered. Xiao Yan contemplated the situation as he studied the spot where the figure made of starlight had disappeared. It seemed that his teacher's relationship with these people from the Pill Tower was quite good. Who is the one who attacked you earlier? The little fairy doctor turned her head, looked at Xiao Yan, and asked a question with knit eyebrows. Someone from the Hall of Souls. A cold glint flashed across his eyes as he softly replied. This person's spiritual strength has reached the pinnacle. The spiritual lock that he used from such a close proximity deceived the little fairy doctor and me. Tian Ho Zunji spoke with a solemn face. Xiao Yan nodded. He did not manage to see the appearance of the black robed person since the very beginning. Moreover, the voice he had heard did not appear too old, yet based on what he had said, this person was an expert from the same generation as Yao Lao. According to common sense, he should also be one of those old men who would not die. His strength should be a little stronger than mine. However, if we were to go all out, he might not be able to defeat me. The little fairy doctor parted the black hair in front of her forehead as she said, however, this profound shoe insect is really a source of trouble. Xiao Yan's expression was a little cold. He had forgotten about the conflict he had with that group of people a couple of days back. Most of the people from the profound Shu insect were people who would take revenge for any offense. It was impossible for them to simply leave things be. However, it was unexpected that they did not act personally. Instead, they had leaked information about him. Using others to kill him. This tactic was really ruthless. Tomorrow, try to think of a way to learn the location of the people from the profound Shu insect. Being tracked by others with ill intent is not good. This trouble needs to be resolved regardless of what kind of background they have. Since they have already climbed above my head, it is only natural that we cannot sit back and do nothing. Xiao Yan slowly said. The little fairy doctor nodded. The people from the profound Shu insect had come swinging at them. They could only blame themselves for being merciless. The one who has me the most worried is that black robe person from earlier. We are unclear about his background. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly flickered. A moment later, his eyes coagulated. The sea heart flame is also in the hands of this person. Perhaps Han Feng knows a little information related to him. 
Xiao Yan suddenly clenched his hand when this thought flashed across his heart. A jade bottle appeared in his hand. His finger rubbed over the mouth of the bottle before emitting a suction force. An illusionary spiritual body rose up in an extremely weak manner. From the appearance of the spiritual figure, it was Han Feng. Who in the Hall of Souls did you gift your sea heart flame to? Xiao Yan glanced at this extremely weak Han Feng and asked with an icy voice. Han Feng was initially startled upon hearing Xiao Yan's question. Immediately, his eyes flickered. However, before he could say anything, an invisible flame rose on the tip of Xiao Yan's finger. It pierced toward the illusionary body lightning quick. Don't, don't. I will speak. I will speak. Han Feng hurriedly cried out in shock upon seeing Xiao Yan's vicious, unhesitating tactic. The one who took my sea heart flame is an honorable elder in the Hall of Souls. People call him Old Mu Gu. His position in the Hall of Souls is quite high because he is a genuine tier 8 alchemist on top of being a Du Zun, and he is much valued by the Hall Chief of the Hall of Souls. Old Mu Gu. Xiao Yan uttered this name softly in his mouth. The coldness in his eyes became denser. It was indeed those bastards from the Hall of Souls. Old Mu Gu has an extremely deep old grudge with Yao Chen. It is rumored that the both of them had the same teacher. However, due to some reason, old Mu Gu was expelled. Therefore, he views Yao Chen with great enmity. He will find any opportunity to make trouble with Yao Chen. Back then. Back then, I was played by him when I attacked Yao Chen. He wanted me to quietly steal the flame mantra. Han Feng carefully revealed. What? Xiao Yan's expression involuntarily changed when he heard his words. This old Mu Gu once had the same teacher as Yao Chen? Why is it that I have never heard teacher mention this? Xiao Yan asked in a deep voice. I have also never heard him mention it. This matter is something that old Mu Gu occasionally mentioned to me. Han Feng hurriedly replied, afraid that Xiao Yan would attack him. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. If Han Feng's words were true, that mysterious black-robed person from earlier should be old Mu Gu. After all, there were very few people who knew about the flame mantra. Even some of those close to Xiao Yan were unaware of it. This person will never give up in order to get what he wants. He will definitely try his best to strike again. However, he would not dare to openly attack me with the strength currently beside me. There shouldn't be an issue if we are careful in the future. The pill gathering is about to begin. Right now, the plan is to get into the top 10 of the pill gathering and obtain the 3000 burning flame. At that time, I will no longer need to fear this old fellow, even if I have to fight him alone the next time we meet. Xiao Yan's eyes twinkled. A moment later, he finally made up his mind. With a wave of his hand, he returned Han Feng's soul into the jade bottle and threw it into his storage ring. After which, he turned around and walked into his room. Find information on those people from the profound Shu insect tomorrow. Once is too many when it comes to such a thing. The little fairy doctor slowly nodded when she heard Xiao Yan's words filled with killing intent. She was aware that Xiao Yan had been truly angered this time around. End of chapter. Chapter 1153? Xuan Kong Zi. When Xiao Yan walked out of his room the next day, he coincidentally found Yi Zhong standing in the courtyard. Yi Zhong sighed in relief after seeing Xiao Yan exit the room. Immediately, he revealed how ashamed he was. Given the matter that had happened yesterday, he failed to provide proper protection. Mr. Xiao Yan, I have already dispatched people. They have worked through the night and obtained information about the location of the profound Shu insect members. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He looked at Yi Zhong's somewhat tired face. Clearly, he had worked through the night because of what happened last night. Immediately, Xiao Yan smiled, patted Yi Zhong's shoulder, and said, What happened last night is not your fault. Even the little fairy doctor and old Mr. Yao failed to detect the threat. Yi Zhong bitterly smiled and nodded. He said, The members of the profound Shu insect are in a manner on the southern side of the Holy Pill City's outer city. They are indeed the group in conflict with us at the Alchemist Trade Fair. That white clothed young man is the son of the profound Shu insect's leader, Chen Xiang. He is also an alchemist. It is rumored that he intends to participate in the pill gathering during this trip of his to Holy Pill City. The gray-clothed old man by his side is the renowned Shuan Zunji of the profound Shuan sect. He is extremely strong. Additionally, there are two other elders whose strengths have reached the peak of the Du's own class, accompanying him. A fierce glint flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he nodded. Originally, he had not wished to form an enmity with the profound Shuan sect. However, the other party had come and provoked him. They should not blame him for being vicious. 
Mr. Xiaoyan, do you intend to attack them? Yi Zhong hesitated for a moment after seeing the way Xiao Yan acted before inquiring. Once is enough given what happened yesterday. Xiao Yan softly replied. Yi Zhong licked his lips. He mused for a moment before saying, I think that now is not the best opportunity to attack them. This place is, after all, Holy Pill City. That Chen Xian is also an alchemist recognized by the Pill Tower. Attacking them would inevitably attract the attention of the Pill Tower. Moreover, there are many experts beside Chen Xian. You will need to act stealthily when you attack or you will need to kill every single person accompanying him. Otherwise if word of this leaks, it will definitely stir the anger of the profound Shu insect. At that time, you might face a lot of trouble. After all, behind the profound Shu insect, there is still the great profound sky sect. Is Elder Yi Zhong's intention to treat what happened last night as though nothing has occurred? Xiao Yan frowned and asked. Of course not. Yi Zhong hurriedly shook his head. He said, it is just that you should be aware of how difficult it is to kill an elite Du Zun. Once Xu and Zun Ji escapes, turbulent times will follow. The one who is in charge of this group of people from the profound Xu insect is likely Chen Xiang. I think that selling information about us to the black robed person from last night was his idea. The pill gathering will be held soon. All the competitors who have passed the selection will enter a special realm during the pill gathering. That place will be the best place for you to act. There is always a large number of people that end up remaining in that realm forever after each pill gathering. Therefore, even if Chen Xian really meets with an accident there, the profound Shu insect would be hard pressed to investigate. Xiao Yan's frowning eyebrows finally relaxed upon hearing this information. What Yi Zhong said was not without reason. The profound Shu insect would not be easier to deal with than the Ice River Valley, much less the even more powerful profound sky sect behind it. Once word of what happened leaked, it would likely end up attracting a lot of trouble. He had already provoked the Hall of Souls. If additional factions were to be added to his list of enemies, it would definitely end up making his situation a lot worse. Elder Cheng from the Pill Tower has already arrived at the Yi Manor. The reason he has hurried over so early is probably because he is worried that you will attack the people from the Profound Shu Insect. After all, this is Holy Pill City. He needs to maintain the stability. Yi Zhong said. Elder Cheng is here? Xiao Yan was surprised. That's right, he arrived very early this morning. However, he said that there was no need to wake you. Xiao Yan slightly knit his eyebrows. Elder Cheng's early arrival clearly hinted at the upper echelons of the Pill Tower. They did not wish him to fight all out with the profound Shu insect at this moment. However, he understood them after some thought. Being the party that held the pill gathering, the pill tower did indeed hold the responsibility of maintaining order. The intervention of that expert from the pill tower last night should also be due to this reason. Let's head to the front yard and meet Elder Cheng. I'll temporarily put this matter aside. Once I enter the realm you mentioned, I will seek Chen Xian out. I cannot simply treat this kind of thing like it never happened. Xiao Yan mused for a moment and gradually became much calmer. With a wave of his hand, he took the lead and walked to the front yard. Yi Zhong sighed in relief upon hearing that Xiao Yan did not intend to attack at this moment. He hurriedly followed Xiao Yan after his sigh. When Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong hurried to the front yard, they coincidentally saw Elder Cheng seated in the leader's spot. The little fairy doctor, Tian Ho Zunji, and Xin Lan were seated by his side. Kiki, you are finally here. Elder Cheng laughed when Xiao Yan walked into the large hall. After which, he stood up and said, I think that Yi Zhong has informed you why the old me has come here. Let's not say any more unnecessary words. All of you should follow me to the pill tower. There will also be other elders who will go and knock on the doors of the fellows from the profound Shu insect. If you still feel uncomfortable in your heart, you will have opportunities in the future. At that time, the pill tower will not intervene or ask about the matter. However, this is a unique period of time. Hopefully, you will endure a little on account of the pill tower. Elder Cheng really knows how to joke. Since you have already put it this way, the little me will naturally obey you. Xiao Yan smiled. Currently, Holy Pill City was filled with people. All sorts of people were gathered in this place. Naturally, it would appear a little chaotic. If a fuse were to be lit during this period, trouble would explode forth. Hence, Xiao Yan understood the difficulty the pill tower faced. Relax, we will not allow you to be wronged for nothing. Aren't you interested in Cao Ying's spiritual handprint? The elder seats have already discussed the matter. When you arrive at the pill tower, we will allow you to ponder that soul skill. Elder Cheng smiled as he spoke. 
Xiao Yan was initially startled when he heard Elder Cheng's words. Joy immediately surged into his eyes as he hurriedly cupped his hands together to thank Elder Cheng. That spiritual handprint might not be very high level, but it was suitable for him, who was a beginner when it came to soul skills. Moreover, the spiritual handprint he had learned from Cao Ying was incomplete. It would really benefit him if he could study it completely. Since there is no problem, let's get moving. The association head wishes to meet you after we arrive at the Pill Tower. Elder Cheng smiled and took the lead to walk out of the Yi Manor. Xiao Yan's group exchanged glances with each other before following him. The Pill Tower was located in the center of Holy Pill City. This area was the one true holy ground in the hearts of countless numbers of alchemists. Due to Holy Pill City being filled with all sorts of people, the defenses in the inner region had become extremely tight, ready to deal with any sudden changes. Xiao Yan's group followed Elder Cheng as they walked through Holy Pill City for nearly half an hour, but they gradually arrived at the inner area. The noise significantly diminished when Xiao Yan's group stepped through a gate to the inner region. Usually, only those factions with a strong relationship with the Pill Tower or high-tier alchemists were allowed to stay in the inner region of the Holy Pill City. Hence, the quality within the inner region was completely different with that of the outer region. Xiao Yan's group lifted their heads after stepping into the inner region. Their eyes paused on the thing in the center of the inner region. A thousand-foot-tall black tower stood at that spot. It appeared just like a small mountain peak, giving one a towering and magnificent feeling. The top of the enormous tower penetrated through the cloud layer. At a glance, one was unable to see the peak. The cloud lingered over it, causing it to appear exceptionally mysterious. That is the Pill Tower, huh? As Xiao Yan looked at the sky-supporting pillar of a tower, even he could not help but reveal a face that was filled with amazement. Compared to this Pill Tower, the lightning tower he had seen back at the Wind Lightning Pavilion was like a little child standing at the feet of a giant man. Elder Cheng smiled and nodded. He brought Xiao Yan's group into the human traffic on the main road, walking to the Pill Tower. With Elder Cheng leading them, Xiao Yan's group passed through strict examination stations in an extremely smooth manner and entered the interior of the enormous Pill Tower. Elder Cheng first settled the little fairy doctor and the rest in after having entered the Pill Tower. After which, he led Xiao Yan as they hurried to the top levels of the enormous tower. It was a long while later before they stopped in front of an extremely spacious hall. Association head Xuan Kong is inside. He and your teacher were good friends back then. You should be respectful when you meet him. Xiao Yan's face became serious. He nodded when he heard Elder Cheng's reminder. Elder Cheng only felt assured when he saw Xiao Yan nod his head. Elder Cheng tidied his clothes, took two steps forward, and respectfully pushed the door open. After which, he threw a look at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan slightly nodded and slowly entered. The large hall was filled with many bookshelves. At a glance, it gave one a disorderly feeling. Many different colored flames filled the hall. Under the mixture of these many colors of light, one would feel as though one was in a blurry dream state. Xiao Yan's footsteps gently landed on the stone floor. His eyes swept around before pausing in front of a bookshelf a moment later. A white-clothed old man was carefully dusting the bookshelf. That white-clothed old man did not have the slightest aura seeping out of him. He appeared just like an extremely ordinary old man. However, when Xiao Yan used his spiritual perception, he was startled to realize that the area in front of him was completely empty. The white-clothed old man appeared as though he did not exist. Ha ha, you must be Xiao Yan, right? That old fellow's eyesight really causes others to feel envious. The white-clothed old man ceased dusting when Xiao Yan was respectfully standing a short distance behind him. An old voice filled with vicissitude suddenly resounded over the interior of the hall. End of chapter. Chapter 1154. Song King. Xiao Yan slowly raised his head upon hearing that elderly laughter. He coincidentally watched the white-clothed old man slowly turn around. His hair was white, and his face was covered with deep wrinkles. Both of his eyes appeared tiny, being compressed by the wrinkles. However, his deep and unfathomable eyes contained a warm smile. Senior really knows how to joke. Xiao Yan cupped his hands together and respectfully spoke. Kiki, I am not joking. You have reached the high grade 7th tier alchemist level at such a young age. The number of people who can achieve this across the entire continent can be counted on one's fingers. The white clothed old man's eyes swept back and forth over Xiao Yan as he warmly said, The old me is called Xuan Kong Zi. If you do not mind, you can call me old Xuan. 
Back then, I was a close friend of your teacher, Yao Chen. It is not overboard for you to address me as such. In that case, this young fellow shall defer to your judgment. Hearing this, Xiao Yan was happy to do as he was told. He cupped his hands together and laughed. Xuan Kongzi smiled. He placed the scroll in his hand onto the bookshelf before turning around and heading back to his study table. He said, there is no need for you to feel that the matter of the profound Xuan sect is a blotch on your skin. The current holy pill city is in a chaotic and tense period because of the matter of the pill gathering. If things turn into problems, they might hinder the pill gathering. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. The person from last night had hidden his aura and his appearance. My original self was not able to reach reach into that place. Therefore, I was unable to ascertain which honorable elder of the Hall of Souls he was. Xuan Kong Zi slowly apologized. He should be old Mu Gu. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before speaking. Oh. Xuan Kong Zi was a little stunned when he heard Xiao Yan's words. However, he did not appear too surprised. He nodded slowly and said, no wonder he has come looking for you. It is that old fellow. These people from the Hall of Souls really do not allow one to feel a peace of mind. Is Yao Chen currently in the hands of the Hall of Souls? Xuan Kong Zi's shriveled hands rubbed the surface of the table as he inquired. Xiao Yan pulled the corner of his mouth and immediately nodded. Ugh. The old fellow always had a free and easy character. He usually does not like to form groups or factions. If he had listened to me back then and become a giant head of the pill tower, he would not have been targeted by the Hall of Souls. Xuan Kong Zi sighed. He said, I will tell the others to pay more attention to this matter, and I will inform you if I have any information on Yao Chen. Thank you old Xuan. Xiao Yan hurriedly thanked him. The pill tower's influence spread across the Central Plains region. If they were to help Xiao Yan's search, he would naturally be faced with a lot less trouble. Xuan Kong Zi waved his hand and said, The Hall of Souls is considered a hidden enemy of my pill tower. Unimaginable amounts of alchemists are captured by them every year. However, the pill tower is unable to announce war with the Hall of Souls. This faction is far from what you can imagine. Xiao Yan quietly nodded. The Hall of Souls had been able to survive in the Central Plains for many years. This survival would naturally be impossible if the Hall of Souls did not possess some foundation. However, the thing that was beyond expectations was that even the Pill Tower was afraid of this mysterious faction. Creak. The door of the hall suddenly opened while Xiao Yan was contemplating the situation. Immediately, three figures slowly walked in. Xiao Yan turned his head and surprise flashed across his eyes because the two people in front were surprisingly Cao Ying and the young lady from the Dan clan named Dan Chen. There was a black-clothed man behind Cao Ying and Dan Chen. His appearance was quite handsome, and he was chatting and smiling with Cao Ying and Dan Chen when he entered the hall. A badge was present on his chest. On it were seven bright purple gold stars. Tier 7 high-grade alchemist. Cao Ying and Dan Xuan had noticed Xiao Yan when he saw them. Some surprise also flashed across their faces. Clearly, they were surprised that Xiao Yan would appear in this place. Teacher. Cao Ying slowly stepped forward and respectfully greeted Xuan Kong Zi. Association head Xuan Kong. Ki Ki, the three of you have also arrived, huh? Xuan Kong Zi raised his head and smiled to the three of them. After which, his eyes slid back to Xiao Yan as he said, This person is the champion of the five great clan test, Xiao Yan. I think that all of you already know that. Ki Ki, how can we not know? Mr. Xiao Yan's name has recently become a hot topic in Holy Pill City. Cao Ying covered her mouth and laughed in a lovely manner. Her enchanting and bewitching demeanor caused a fiery heat that was difficult to discover, to flash across the eyes of the black-clothed man by her side. Xiao Yan was unconcerned with Cao Ying's words. He courteously smiled to the three of them. Song King. I have already heard of the performance of Mr. Xiao Yan during the Five Great Clans test. You really live up to your reputation now that we have met. The black-clothed man slowly stepped forward, extended his hand to Xiao Yan, and complimented him with a smile. You have overpraised me. Xiao Yan smiled. Although this black-clothed man in front of Xiao Yan hid it well, Xiao Yan could still see faint resentment in the other party's eyes. The source of the animosity seemed to be due to Cao Ying. This witch really could bring disaster to a country and its people. Xiao Yan could only bitterly laugh in his heart upon discovering the hostility. He had not even said anything, yet he had attracted enmity for no reason. This really caused him to feel a little speechless. Mr. Xiao Yan, Song King is a disciple of the first elder of the Pill Tower. 
Moreover, he is also the youngest elder in the Pill Tower. In the future, he might even become the youngest eight great elders of the Pill Tower. His ability is not any poorer than yours. Cao Ying rolled her eyes and sweetly smiled. Although Song King's face did not visibly change when he heard Cao Ying's words, a faint pride flashed across his eyes. With his achievements, he did indeed possess the capital to be proud. It is really the case of a renowned teacher producing an excellent student. Xiao Yan smiled, but he did not say much. This witch, Cao Ying, had an unpredictable character. If he was careless, he would be toyed with by her. With his character, he was not someone who liked to linger around the opposite sex. Moreover, this Cao Ying was not an ordinary woman. All right, since all of you have gotten to know each other, I shall state my intention of calling all of you here. Xuan Kongzi slightly smiled. His gaze slowly swept over the few of them. His eyes appeared to be able to see through their hearts. Even with Cao Ying's Evildoer character, she still appeared obedient in front of him. There are still a couple more days until the pill gathering selection. Xuan Kong Zi spoke in a calm voice, due to the matter of the 3000 burning flame, this pill gathering has attracted quite a number of factions. Among them includes members from the Hall of Souls. Hall of Souls? Cao Ying and the other two knit their brows and softly repeated this name when they heard it. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly flickered, but he did not reply. Ugh, due to us having sealed the 3000 burning flame for a long period of time, it has formed a grudge against the pill tower if it is released, it will definitely attack the Pill Tower in revenge. At that time, the Pill Tower will definitely suffer a great loss. Xuan Kongzi softly sighed. This 3000 burning flame is already quite intelligent after a countless number of years. Moreover, its wildness is difficult to tame. My Pill Tower has used all of our tactics, but we are unable to subdue it. Moreover, due to it gradually absorbing the strength from the stars, our seal is losing its ability to restrain it. Therefore, we must resolve this trouble as soon as possible. The plan of the Hall of Souls this time around is perhaps to capture the 3000 Burning Flame. Of course, if they fail to do so, they will destroy the seal and release the 3000 Burning Flame. At that time, the Pill Tower will suffer a terrible loss. It would also end up being convenient for them to collect spiritual bodies. The 3000 Burning Flame is extremely powerful. Although it is not ranked in the top 5 on the Heavenly Flame ranking, its strength is sufficient to be ranked among them. Xuan Kong Zi's expression was a little solemn as he spoke. Due to it gathering the strength of the stars, the 3000 burning flame is equivalent to an indestructible body. Therefore, we can only seal it and not destroy it. Whoever obtains the 3000 burning flame and subdues, it will have the equivalent of an incomparably powerful recovery ability. If this kind of heavenly flame were to fall into the hands of the Hall of Souls, there would definitely be a great amount of trouble. The reason I have called all of you here is because of this. I hope that you will be able to stop the Hall of Souls from obtaining the 3000 Burning Flame. The interior of the hall descended into silence as everyone studied Xuan Kong Zi's grave of expression. A moment later, Cao Ying finally knit her brows and said, Teacher, since you are this afraid of the Hall of Souls, why don't you prohibit them from participating? First, we do not know just who among the alchemists participating in the pill gathering are members of the Hall of Souls. Even if we know, it is impossible for us to find any reason to stop them because of the rules of the pill gathering over the generations. As long as one is an alchemist who possesses the qualification to participate, we cannot remove his or her right to do so, even if he or she is part of a faction that is an enemy of the pill tower. This rule might give one a headache, but it is precisely this inclusive action of the pill tower that enabled the pill tower to grow to its level today. Therefore, there are some rules that cannot be touched. Xuan Kong Zi explained somewhat helplessly. Everyone slowly nodded upon hearing his explanation. Xiao Yan himself was sworn enemies with the Hall of Souls. Moreover, he intended to obtain the 3000 Burning Flame at all cost. He would naturally not object to this matter. There are still seven days left before the pill gathering selection will begin. All of you should try your best to stay within the pill tower during this period of time. The Hall of Souls might quietly use some tricks in order to obtain the champion spot. Therefore, all of you should be careful. Xuan Kong Zi instructed. Xiao Yan's group once again nodded. Ah, this matter is generally like that. Currently, the only thing you need to do is wait until the pill gathering begins. Xuan Kong Zi smiled. His warm eyes turned to Xiao Yan. After which, he randomly picked out a scroll from the table and tossed it to Xiao Yan. He said, I heard that you are quite interested in Yinger's spiritual handprint. Take it and have a good look. 
Although this spiritual handprint is not considered something of a very high level, it is also an extremely rare item in the outside world. Xiao Yan received the scroll. Joy flashed across his eyes as he hurriedly cupped his hands together and said, Thank you old Xuan. Kiki, it is only a small matter. Xuan Kongzi smiled. After which, he waved his hand at everyone. Xiao Yan's group did not stay any longer upon seeing his dismissal, they bowed before slowly withdrawing from the large hall. Xuan Kongzi finally smiled after watching everyone withdraw. He softly said, Yao Chen, the result of our bet will be determined by whether Xiao Yan or Ying Er will be able to obtain the champion spot this time around. I wonder if you will still be able to beat me this time around? End of chapter. Chapter 1155. Spiritual Handprint. Xiao Yan did not chat with Cao Ying and the others after walking out of the large hall. He walked to a path that led to the bottom of the pill tower. Mr. Xiao Yan, please wait. Xiao Yan had just stepped forward when an enchanting, lovely voice sounded behind him. Hence, he could only stop after taking a step away. He turned his head and looked at the alluring face of Cao Ying. He smiled and asked, is something the matter Miss Cao Ying? Cao Ying rolled her eyes. At that instant, she appeared extremely bewitching, causing one to have the impulse of not being able to shift one's eyes away. At this moment, she was covering her mouth and slightly laughing, last time, I was unable to have a deeper conversation with Mr. Xiao Yan. Why don't we have a chat now that we have time? Xiao Yan lifted his eyebrows upon hearing Cao Ying open her mouth to issue an invitation. His eyes glanced at Song King by her side without leaving a trace. He saw that Song King gently frown. Forget it. There are still other things that I need to do. I will chat with Miss Cao Ying if I have time in the future. Xiao Yan did not want to create enemies after having just entered the pill tower, especially enemies that came as a result of jealousy. Hence, Xiao Yan merely smiled and rejected her offer. Cao Ying's eyes slightly paused when she heard Xiao Yan reject her invitation. Clearly, she had seldom been met with rejection. However, she was not an ordinary person, and none of the thoughts in her heart surfaced on her face. She sweetly smiled and said, that is really a pity. Ying Er, since brother Xiao Yan has said that he has something to do, you should not make things difficult for him. The pill gathering is approaching. Our pill refinement discussion from last time has yet to finish. Why don't we finish it today? Song King by her side laughed. Kiki, in that case, Xiao Yan shall not disturb the two of you. This time around, I might undertake a retreat for a couple of days. I shall chat with all of you when the pill gathering begins. Xiao Yan did not wait for Cao Ying's reply after seeing that Song King had joined the conversation. He cupped his hands to the three of them before swiftly turning around and walking toward the path. He really did not want to provoke the unpredictable witch Cao Ying, and that Song King did not appear to be an ordinary person. However, from the way Xiao Yan saw it, Cao Ying would sooner or later play with him. Cao Ying's sleek red small mouth was slightly widened when she saw Xiao Yan turn around and leave without any hesitation. This fellow was really nice to play with. Other men surrounded her like houseflies. However, Xiao Yan viewed her as a fierce beast from prehistoric times. Interesting. Song King felt his heart sink as he watched interest appear on Cao Ying's face. A cold glint that one had difficulty detecting flashed across his eyes. During these years of contact between Cao Ying and him, he had viewed her as his exclusive domain. He would definitely not allow another man to contaminate her. From the way he saw it, other than him, who could match her given her outstandingness? Even though Xiao Yan had become the champion of the Five Great Clans test, Song King still didn't completely view him seriously. Regardless of background, talent, or strength, he possessed the qualification to look down those of his generation. If he continued developing, he would definitely become a powerful person within the Pill Tower. If he became the champion of this Pill Gathering, his name would be present as a potential successor of the Pill Tower's giant heads. At that time, just what woman would he not be able to obtain? Xiao Yan, hopefully, you will not be a stone that blocks my path. Otherwise. Song King stared at the spot where Xiao Yan's back had disappeared. There was a fierce glint that flashed across his eyes. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware that despite his quick withdrawal, he had still attracted Song King's enmity. Moreover, even if he were aware of it, he would helplessly curse him as a fool. Xiao Yan followed the path he had taken from and roamed for nearly an hour around this enormous pill tower before he returned to the living quarters that Elder Cheng had arranged for him. There was quite a bit of traffic within this pill tower. Moreover, all of them were alchemists of the pill tower. There were some true grandmaster level individuals among them. 
it would not be an overstatement to say that this place was filled with hidden talent. Xiao Yan greeted the little fairy doctor and the rest after returning to the living quarters. He then entered his room. After which, he sat on the bed of the room and recuperated. Following which, he clenched his hand and a pale gray scroll appeared in it. It was the scroll that Xuan Kong Zi had given him earlier. Xiao Yan's hand slowly pulled open the scroll. An invisible ripple spread from it. This ripple was one that Xiao Yan was extremely familiar with. It was something emitted by the spiritual handprint. There was not a single word on the scroll after Xiao Yan opened it. Only some vaguely twisted invisible folds were present. Xiao Yan thought for a moment upon seeing this. After which, he grabbed the scroll and gently placed it on his forehead. An invisible ripple immediately surged after the scroll touched his forehead. Immediately, Xiao Yan sensed a thread of information pour into his head like floodwater. Xiao Yan gently placed the scroll back down after the information had completely swarmed into his head. He began to arrange the somewhat strange flow of information. The cataloging continued for a while before Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes. A slight flicker appeared within them. This information flow was the soul skill Kao Ying practiced. This thing was called spiritual handprint and it was also called the spiritual seal. During ancient times, soul skills were similar to Du techniques and had been separated into Tian, Di, Xuan, and Huang class. This spiritual handprint was a kind of Xuan class high-level soul skill. Although it was not of a very high class, it was not considered bad. Its strength was something Xiao Yan had personally experienced back then. Moreover, this thing was different from a Du technique. Currently, soul skills were extremely rare. When he fought with another, it could catch his opponent off guard. More importantly, this spiritual handprint would gradually allow Xiao Yan to understand how to unleash most of his spiritual strength. He would no longer need to purely rely on the strength of his spiritual strength in order to fight with another like he did in the past. The spiritual handprint was divided into three seals. Xiao Yan had secretly learned the first seal from Cao Ying. He had not been able to secretly learn the remaining two seals. Fortunately, this scroll contained a complete record of them. This is a soul skill huh? That does indeed differ when compared to a Du technique. Xiao Yan remained deep in thought for a long time. There were few Du techniques that required a special hand seal, but the usage of this soul skill required the combination of a hand seal. Moreover, one's spiritual strength needed to flow in a certain orbit as it gathered while the hand seals changed. However, all skills ultimately contained the same origin. Soul skills and Du techniques were generally similar to each other. Huh? Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air as his mind gradually focused. His hand was slowly extended out. After which, it began to follow the seals in his mind and slowly change. Xiao Yan's hand seals changed very slow. However, his face was filled with a seriousness. Spiritual strength flowed out from between his brows. After which, it acted in combination with his hand seals and aggregated together. Xiao Yan tirelessly displayed the hand seal time and time again within the room. This kind of training might be dull, but it was required. After all, regardless of whether it was a soul skill or a do technique, the only way to master it was to work hard. Time swiftly flowed by while Xiao Yan was focused in training. Following his steady seal formation, he gradually familiarized himself with the energy fluctuations that gathered around his palm. The limit of soul. Shut the heavenly spirit. Absorb the spirit forge the soul. While Xiao Yan's mind was completely immersed in his training, a faint muttering seemed to be involuntarily emitted from his barely moving mouth. Under this anonymous word formula, the space within the room began to slightly ripple. Immediately wisps of faint spiritual aura quietly seeped out of the space. After which, they slowly entered the spot between Xiao Yan's brows. All of these changes were not discovered by Xiao Yan. The only thing he sensed was the control over his soul becoming smoother following the appearance of the word formula. Even the halting feeling when he was forming the seal had significantly weakened. The interior of the room was silent. Only an extremely quiet sound reverberated through the room. Time flowed by like water. Xiao Yan was unaware that this training of his lasted nearly 10 days. During these 10 days, the humans within Holy Pill City swelled due to the pill gathering that was being held. One could see countless numbers of people flowing around the spacious city. Trouble was naturally unavoidable with the increase of traffic. However, it was fortunate that the Pill Tower was not an ordinary faction. Hence, it maintained order fairly well. Therefore, the worst sort of chaos did not appear. Nevertheless, with the Pill gathering approaching by the day, Holy Pill City entered a boiling state. 
After all, the pill gathering was not only a grand event of the pill region. It was also a grand event for the Central Plains region. The dream of a countless number of alchemists was to be able to show their best performance within the pill gathering and become a dazzling star among the many people on the continent. Of course, some hidden currents were unavoidable under that boiling atmosphere. This pill gathering was different from the past. Due to the 3000 burning flame, many factions had dispatched the alchemists under them. From the looks of it, they intended to obtain the 3000 burning flame. Moreover, the pill gathering this time around would become an arena for a countless number of alchemists to compete using all of the skills that they had learned. All of the training was for this pill gathering. Many alchemists would compete to see who was the best in this pill gathering. Amid this boiling atmosphere in the city, the last day before the pill gathering finally arrived. Only at this moment did a young man, who was seated like a meditating old monk in a room within the pill tower, finally shake. After which, he slowly opened his dark black eyes. End of chapter. Chapter 1156. Pill gathering begin. The quiet room suddenly formed a strange invisible fluctuation, the moment Xiao Yan opened his eyes. This ripple slowly spread. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air as his hands suddenly moved. Numerous strange hand seals appeared. His hands danced and even formed after images. Following the changes of his hand seals, an invisible spiritual strength began to agglomerate on his palm in a lightning-like manner. Within the blink of an eye, it formed an invisible palm print. Xiao Yan flicked his finger the moment the palm print was formed, and it scattered. Immediately, the seals formed by his hands continued to change. Soon after, two even more complicated palm prints appeared. Three different palm prints appeared one after another in Xiao Yan's hands with great perfection. One could not find any flaws during the formation of the seals. This degree of familiarity was not weaker than what Cao Ying had displayed back then. The three spiritual prints surfaced before they were scattered by Xiao Yan. A mouthful of turbid air was also spat out of his mouth. A faint fluorescent light was lifted on Xiao Yan's face as the turbid air was spat out. It appeared just like warm jade before swiftly disappearing. His body moved, and he leaped down from the bed. After which, his body stood erect on the ground with his eyes shut. Xiao Yan shut his eyes for a moment before suddenly opening them. There was a faint joy within his eyes because he had discovered that the spiritual aura permeating his soul had become fuller than before without him realizing it. He could even vaguely sense a slight clogging feeling within his soul. Could this be that soul state barrier? Xiao Yan pondered the thought. His intuition told him that the moment he passed through this clogging feeling, his soul would definitely step into the so-called soul state. At that time, he would finally become a true alchemist guru. It soon. A smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face. Based on this level, he had the confidence to truly break through the barrier. Xiao Yan smiled in his heart and arranged his clothes. After which, he pushed the door and exited the room. His gaze swept around and arrived on the little fairy doctor, who was seated cross-legged outside of his door. Due to what had occurred before, she had become afraid of being too far from Xiao Yan. Even though they were in the pill tower, she continued to remain guard in this place when Xiao Yan entered his training state. The little fairy doctor swiftly opened her eyes when Xiao Yan pushed open the door. She turned her head and only sighed in relief after seeing that it was Xiao Yan. After which, she asked with a soft smile, are you done training? Yes, it has been tough on you. Xiao Yan grinned. He was naturally aware just how many days the little fairy doctor had guarded him. If you really wish to thank me, just these few words alone are not enough. The little fairy doctor sweetly smiled. However, she appeared to have sensed a deeper meaning in her words, causing her pretty face to turn slightly red. She hurriedly changed the conversation topic and said, it has been a few days since you undertook your retreat. Cao Ying has come and looked for you once during this period of time, but I stopped her. You won't blame me for interrupting this great thing of yours will you? The little fairy doctor rolled her bright eyes when she finished speak. They finally paused on Xiao Yan's face. Xiao Yan involuntarily let out a bitter laugh when he heard the news. He said, I am not on familiar terms with her, what great thing can we have? Moreover, that woman is also not an ordinary person. I do not wish to be close to her. The little fairy doctor nodded in satisfaction after hearing Xiao Yan put it this way. She curled her pretty eyes until they formed a crescent shape. When will the pill gathering begin? Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the large hall as he randomly asked. Tomorrow. So soon? Xiao Yan was startled. It was unexpected that time had passed so quickly. In the blink of an eye, it was about time for the pill gathering to begin. 
If you did not wake yourself up today, I would have entered and woken you up a little later. The little fairy doctor informed him with a smile. Xiao Yan tilted his head. He immediately found a little and said, I still have one medicinal ingredient that I have yet to obtain. It looks like I will need to think of a way to get my hands on it today. Ever since Xiao Yan had obtained the two medicinal ingredients from the alchemist trade fair back then, he had yet to obtain any news about the last 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine until now. The pill gathering was fast approaching. This caused Xiao Yan to panic a little. After all, if he lacked this key ingredient, it would be impossible for him to truly refine the medicinal pill. Kiki, there is no need for you to worry about medicinal ingredients. The door of the hole was suddenly pushed open, while Xiao Yan was frowning. Immediately, Yi Zhong, Xin Lan, and Tian Ho Zunji walked in. Yi Zhong smiled as he walked to Xiao Yan's side. He flicked his hand, and a couple of jade boxes with cold air seeping from them appeared on the table in front of him. He said, there are two 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine and a blood essence demon fruit here. Adding them to the medicinal ingredients you already have, you will coincidentally have two full sets. Even if you fail once during the refinement, you will still have a second chance. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He hurriedly grabbed a jade box and opened its cover. He did indeed see a jade green emerald-like tree branch lying inside it. Dense life force spread out from it, giving one a relaxed and happy feeling. It is indeed the 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine. How did you obtain these things? Xiao Yan's face revealed his joy before he immediately asked somewhat uncertainly. These things were not ordinary items. Even with the collection of the Yi clan, the clan would not be able to take them out. However, there was suddenly two 10,000-year-old green spiritual vine and one blood essence demon fruit. This was a little strange. These were not obtained by us. All I did was mention to an elder from the pill tower that you needed these medicinal pills. They took the initiative to deliver these medicinal ingredients on the second day. Yi Zhong smiled as he explained what happened. Xiao Yan was startled. He immediately came to a sudden understanding. Xuan Kong Zi's orders were behind all this. Otherwise, with his reputation, it was still too unknown for the Pill Tower to value him like this. Xiao Yan thanked Xuan Kong Zi in his heart. He did not put up an act. He simply waved his hand and stored the medicinal ingredients in front of him into his storage ring. Currently, these were the most important things to him, and it was naturally impossible for him to reject them. He would treat it as owing Xuan Kong Zi a favor, and he would return it when he had the chance to in the future. The number of people participating in this season's pill gathering will likely be the greatest number in all of its history. I heard that the inner region has been fully occupied by the countless numbers of competitors. Among them seem to be some renowned old demons. It seems that they are planning to thicken their skins and participate because of the 3000 burning flame. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He was already aware that this season's pill gathering would definitely not be easy. Even he did not hold the thought of taking the champion spot. After all, the difficulty of this was really too great. All he could do was try his best. However, if there is an opportunity, I really wish to fight with these great people from all over the continent. Teacher was a champion of one of the pill gatherings back then. Being his disciple, how can I undiminish his reputation? Xiao Yan gently lifted the corner of his mouth. Some heat that was difficult to hide flashed across his dark black eyes. Regardless of how cool he was, he was still a young person. The hot blood of a young person similarly flowed in Xiao Yan's veins. Yi Zhong and the others exchanged glances with each other upon seeing the smile on Xiao Yan's face. After which, they grinned. It was likely that there would really be a good show with this season's pill gathering. Honestly speaking, they were really curious to know if this tiger, Xiao Yan, would meet an opponent who would be able to stop him. This pill gathering was really going to be an intense fight. When the first rays of morning sunlight scattered down the next and broke through the darkness that encompassed the land, Holy Pill City instantly began to boil. All eyes would truly focus on Holy Pill City today. Everyone across the central plains would focus their eyes here, awaiting to see who would be able to stand out among the alchemist geniuses from all over the Duki continent. The champion would undoubtedly be a child blessed by the heavens. Every champion of the pill gathering would leave behind a well-known reputation in the Duki continent's history without exception. Hence, the value of the pill gathering had been magnified by many times. Whoever could become the final champion would definitely be able to add a mark to the history of the Duki continent in the future. That glory was enough to cause anyone to become crazy about. After all, who alive wished to be common? Creek. 
the door to a room within the pill tower was suddenly opened. At the same time, a skinny figure slowly stepped out of it. After which, he appeared in front of the eyes of the little fairy doctor's group, already waiting outside. Today, Xiao Yan was wearing a purple-colored alchemist robe that the pill tower had specifically gave him. There was a tear badge that the pill tower had issued on his chest. On the badge were seven purple gold stars that were emitting bright lusters. This clothing was the most ceremonious clothes that Xiao Yan had worn in many years. From this, one could understand the position of the pill gathering in the hearts of the alchemists. A smile flashed across the little fairy doctor's eyes as she studied Xiao Yan. He appeared a little handsome as well as free and easy in his alchemist robes. This was the first time that she had seen Xiao Yan wearing such a formal outfit. However, it needed to be said that the current Xiao Yan looked really good. Xiao Yan gently arranged his clothes. After which, he glanced at the little fairy doctor and the rest. He smiled and said, let's go. He took the lead to shift his footsteps after he spoke and walked out of the large hall. After which, the little fairy doctor and the rest wisely smiled and swiftly followed. The pill gathering was the most noble gathering in the hearts of alchemists. Today, the gathering many alchemists admired Dan had gone crazy for finally parted its curtains. Xiao Yan had waited three years for this day. The eastern wind had arrived. It was time to flow with the wind. End of chapter. Chapter 1157. Two Great Hurdles. The location of pill gathering was in the northern part of the inner region. It had already been filled by a terrifying crowd of people for a few days. Hence, by the time Xiao Yan's group had arrived, they only saw a densely packed endless sea of human heads. An earth-shaking noise charged to the sky. After which, it transformed into a terrifying sonic wave that spread apart. One was able to clearly hear it within a 50-kilometer radius. Xiao Yan's group flashed and appeared on top of some buildings. Their eyes looked around them. Only then did they discover that this place was an enormous 10,000-foot large square. The air above this open ground had many stone platforms suspended in it. The stone platforms had a faint light spreading out from them. From the looks of it, the platforms appeared quite mysterious. Those stone platforms are the final seats of the competitors. Yi Zhang pointed at the stone platforms floating in the air as he laughed. They were the focus of tens of thousands of eyes. The final seats? Xiao Yan lifted his eyebrows when he heard this. Kiki, the pill gathering is an extremely grand event. It is impossible for everyone to participate in this gathering to possess the qualification to step onto those platforms. Before entering the competition ground, there are, strictly speaking, two selection hurdles. Yi Zhang smiled. After which, he pointed out an enormous square. He asked, do you see that deep gray-colored space there? Xiao Yan's eyes followed the direction Yi Zhang was pointing and did indeed see a patch of deep gray space. When he looked carefully, he finally discovered that this space had been forcefully distorted and formed by someone. The interior of the distorted space was filled with a kind of deep gray vapor that could block one's sight. The basic requirement for one to participate in the pill gathering is for one to reach the tier 5 alchemist level. That deep gray colored space is the first hurdle. It is also known as the fantasy realm hurdle. That deep gray vapor is something created from the body of the magical beast known as the fantasy soul beast. Not only is it able to block one's sight, but it is even able to hinder spiritual perception. Additionally, that space itself has another mystery within it. That space is filled with similar things, causing it to appear just like a maze. One will lose one's sense of direction after entering it and end up lost within. Those who fail to walk out of it within the allocated time will lose the right to participate in the competition. Yi Zhong smiled as he explained the first hurdle. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. A strange expression flashed across his eyes. This pill gathering selection methods were extraordinary. Once one passes through this environmental hurdle, one possesses the qualification to enter the pill realm. Yi Zhong's expression had clearly become a lot more serious when he mentioned the pill realm. Pill realm? I mentioned to you some days ago that all the competitors will enter a strange place after the pill gathering begins. That strange place is the pill realm. Yi Zhong nodded and slowly explained, the pill realm is a space. It is rumored that an elite Du Sheng from the pill tower created it long ago. However, for some reason, the pill realm gradually became ruined. However, the pill realm is definitely a treasure ground that a countless number of alchemists dream of. There are tons of natural treasures and rare medicinal ingredients that one would have difficulty finding in the outside world, there. The alchemists who have the qualification to enter it will be given a list. The list will record some rare medicinal ingredients. 
all of you will need to rely on your own abilities to obtain all of the medicinal ingredients within the pill realm. Only then can you exchange them for a spatial stone at the exit area. After that, you can leave the pill realm and participate in the final competition. The stone platforms in the sky are there for the people who have successfully completed this final hurdle. Not everyone has the qualification to step into them. It is indeed worthy of being the pill gathering. Xiao Yan gently nodded and praised. After these two rounds of selection, it would be possible to eliminate those who had come to make up the numbers. Those who passed through the selection and remained would be the true elite of this pill gathering. The pill tower will usually not intervene with whatever happens in the pill realm, so as long as you are stealthy, no one will come to know about it. Although this kind of selection is extremely harsh, reality is even more merciless than the competition. If one is unable to even pass this kind of test, how can one survive on the continent and become a true alchemist guru? Yi Zhong slightly smiled and softly said, therefore, if you meet Chen Xian from the profound Shu insect in the pill realm, you can just attack as you like. Xiao Yan smiled. A cold glint flashed across his dark black eyes. That Chen Xian had sold information about Xiao Yan to the people from the Hall of Souls. Xiao Yan needed to resolve this grud. Gong. A loud and clear gong suddenly resounded over area, while Xiao Yan and Yi Zhong were chatting. The gong sound spread in a mighty manner. Even the earth-shaking noise was suppressed by it. This open ground became much quieter after the gong appeared. Innumerable eyes emitted a swoosh sound as they paused on the towering stone stage on the eastern side of the square. That place would be the spot where the upper echelons of the pill tower would appear. Wave after wave of the sound of rushing wind suddenly appeared soon after the gong was rang. Immediately, the space above the stone stage slightly distorted. Over ten figures slowly appeared there. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the dozen-plus human figures. After which, they paused on the three human figures in the middle. Among the three of them, Xiao Yan had already seen one of the giant heads of the pill tower, Xuan Kongzi. On his left and right sides were two existences that he could not detect any aura from. The old man on the left had dark skin. His face was tensed up, giving him a stern, no-joke feeling. His eyes were just like bolts of lightning, piercing one's soul to the point where it felt painful. The one on the right caused Xiao Yan to feel extremely surprised because she was a beautiful woman in a Qiangsum. Although Xiao Yan was certain that she was not younger than Xuan Kong Zi and the other man, her appearance was similar to that of a 30-year-old woman. Her expression was indifferent, containing a faint charm that had been deposited over the years. It was the first time that Xiao Yan had seen the dark old man and that beautiful woman. However, from the way these two appeared beside Xuan Kong Zi, it was obvious that these two should be the other two giant heads of the pill tower. The entire crowd had become much quieter following the appearance of these three people. The endless humans turned their gazes, which contained all sorts of emotion, to these three people. The three great heads of the pill tower. Forget about the central plains. These names were considered truly renowned across the entire Duki continent. The three of them were usually existences that existed in legend. Now that they had revealed themselves, many people were in disbelief. Kiki, the old Mishuan Kong Zi shall represent the pill tower here by welcoming all the alchemists who have come here. During the time that follows, this place shall be a stage to display your skill. A white-haired Shuan Kong Zi slowly stepped forward. His warm voice clearly sounded beside everyone's ears. The open ground was completely silent. Regardless of how rebellious or fierce one was, one could only control himself at this moment. No one dared to test these people even a little. After all, the three people on the stone stage were not far from peak existences on this continent. Everyone has traveled a great distance in order to hurry here. The old me shall not waste everyone's time here. Kiki, the pill gathering shall happen like it has in the past. It will be divided into three stages. Firstly, Xiao Yan quietly listened to Xuan Kong Zi's introduction of the pill gathering selection. He discovered that it was similar to what Yi Zhong had mentioned. Clearly, these rules had been the standard rules of all pill gatherings. As long as one passes these three selections, the last one standing will be the champion of this pill gathering. Xuan Kong Zi looked at the sea of people that had formed a ripple due to the excitement of the word champion. He involuntarily smiled and said, the champion this time around will not only be able to obtain the position of the potential successor of the Pill Tower's giant head, but will also be able to obtain a scroll containing a soul training method from ancient times. It will only be a matter of time for him or her to advance to 8th or ninth tier. Clamor. 
Shuen Kong Zi's words had just sounded when the densely packed sea of people immediately let out a soul-stirring roar. The eyes of a countless number of alchemists had turned red at this moment. Tier 8? Tier 9? This legendary level appeared to be as far from them as the heavens and the earth. If they were to obtain that ancient soul training method, this gap would undoubtedly be pulled closer. This possessed a fatal allure to all alchemists. Even Xiao Yan was unable to to ignore this kind of attraction. After Xuan Kong Zi uttered those words, his breathing had quietly become a lot rougher. He clearly understood just how rare and precious a soul training method of the ancient times was. It would not be overboard to describe that kind of treasure as priceless. I must make an attempt for this champion position no matter what. Xiao Yan tightly clenched his fist. A heat flashed across his dark black eyes. He was unconcerned about the status of the potential to be a giant head successor. However, this soul training method was something that he could not afford to easily ignore because he clearly understood that if he wished to become a tier 9 alchemist. The soul training method was something that he must not lack. Therefore, no matter what, he would have to put in all his effort just for this scroll of spiritual training alone. Xuan Kong Zi looked at the eyes below, which had suddenly become blood red from the tall stage. He slightly smiled, looked at the sky before finally waving his sleeves. An invisible ripple spread, striking empty space and forming waves of long gong sounds. Time is up. The competitors who are tier 5 and above, please enter the first hurdle, the soul fantasy realm. Shuen Kong Zi's finger suddenly pointed to the enormous square. The deep gray colored space swiftly twisted, forming parts of a strange world and giving it a profound appearance. Bang. Shuen Kong Zi's voice had just sounded when numerous human figures suddenly rushed out of the endless sea of people. They acted like locusts as they rushed to the sky from all directions. After which, all of them entered the distorted space. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air as he watched the human figures entering the distorted space like a storm. He slowly stepped forward. Do your best. Xiao Yan smiled when he heard the cheer from the little fairy doctor's group. After which, he suddenly stomped on the ground. His body transformed into a black figure that rushed into the deep gray distorted space without any hesitation in front of many gazes. The intense competition of the pill gathering had officially begun at this moment. End of chapter. Chapter 1158. Passing the Hurdle. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Shuan Kong Zi on the tall stage nodded as he watched the human figures entering the fantasy realm like locusts in transit. Both of his hands were inserted into his sleeves as he faintly said, the pill gathering this time around has become a little interesting. It is unexpected that even some famous old fellows have also come. The 3000 burning flame is far from what an ordinary heavenly flame can compare with. It is quite tempting to these people. Naturally, they would want to come and join in the fun. That dark-skinned bold man beside Shuan Kong Zi raised his eyebrows. His stern lightning bolt-like eyes swept over the human figures rushing into the fantasy realm hurdle as he commented. The waves behind push away those at the front. Some of the members from the younger generation are not weaker than them. Even if they participate, it is likely that they will only end up with the Shen faces. The Cheongsam clad pretty woman by the side smiled as she added her thoughts. Shuan Kong Zi grinned and nodded. He fondled his beard and said, the younger generation this time has a number of outstanding people. However, the thing I am most curious about is just what extent will Xiao Yan reach. Xiao Yan? Yao Chen's disciple? The dark-skinned bold man was startled. His eyes immediately glanced at the pretty woman by his side. Yao Chen. The pretty woman was a little startled. She had been in a retreat during these years. Other than important matters like sealing the 3000 burning flames, she would usually not show herself. One could say that she was the one who kept the lowest profile among the three giant heads of the pill tower. Even some people who had just entered the pill tower for a short while might not even be aware of her existence. Many people thought that there had not been any woman giant heads in the history of the pill tower. However, only those with experience were aware that the first woman giant head of the pill tower had already appeared before Cao Ying. However, she was much older than Cao Ying. This mysterious pretty woman was once considered a truly renowned person across the Duki continent. Her name was not the least bit weaker than the other two giant heads. Although she had been in a retreat during these years and had not been involved in any matters, her eyes revealed an unknown glint within them when she heard of this distant name that she had difficulty forgetting. Based on what Xiao Yan said, Yao Chen has currently landed in the hands of the Hall of Souls. Once the pill gathering is over, we might perhaps help this old fellow if it is possible. 
After all, no matter what, he did our pill tower a great favor back then. Xu and Kong Zi slowly informed them. The face of the pretty woman slightly changed upon hearing what had happened. Her ripplous old well-like mentality had begun to fluctuate. Her face sank as she said, who asked that old fellow to act great back then. He knew that the Hall of Souls had targeted him, yet he still dared to roam around. He deserves this kind of fate. You may speak in such an easy matter, but who don't know that you are the one who is most worried about that old fellow. You have quietly dispatched quite a number of people to inquire about Yao Chen during these years. The two of us know. Xu and Kong Zi sighed. Who cares if he has died? The pretty woman's eyebrows became vertical, causing her to appear mighty even without being angry. However, these words appeared to lack any backing when they landed in the ears of Xu and Kong Zi and the other person. However, the two of them clearly understood her stubborn character. They could only helplessly shake their heads. The many elders from the Pill Tower looked at each other after the argument of these three. All of them wisely chose to act like they heard nothing. Let me meet this little fellow once the pill gathering is over. I have heard that the members of the Hall of Souls are also planning on capturing him. No matter what. He is also his disciple. The pretty woman calmed down after the silence of Xuan Kong Zi and their companion. Her eyes dimmed as she spoke with a complicated expression in her eyes. Xuan Kong Zi and the dark-skinned man faced each other upon hearing her words. They nodded, but did not add anything else. Xiaoyan clearly sensed a tear badge on his chest, emit a strange ripple, while his body was charging into the deep gray distorted space. Under the spreading ripple, a suction force erupted from the distorted space when his body touched it, sucking Xiaoyan into it. This sudden suction force caused Xiaoyan's eyes to be dazzled. The next time he regained his sight, he discovered that he was already standing in the deep gray mysterious space. This space was permeated by a thick deep gray vapor. One could not see even half a meter in any direction with one's eyes. Moreover, a slight distortion would appear when one's sight slid by some areas. Clearly, this place should be the so-called fantasy realm hurdle. Xiaoyan's feet remained planted on the deep gray vapor. He did not charge around randomly. Instead, he continued to quietly stand there. His eyes were slightly shut as his majestic spiritual strength slowly spread out like waves of water. The deep gray vapor clearly suppressed one's soul. This was something Xiao Yan had heard Yi Zhong mention before. Hence, he did not feel too surprised. This kind of suppression also had a limit. With the current power of his soul, he was easily able to take note of the situation around, despite the hindrance of the vapor. However, the distance his spiritual strength could reach had been greatly reduced. The spreading of Xiao Yan's spiritual strength allowed him to sense the ripples formed by the surrounding deep gray vapor. There should be new competitors continuously entering. This is a little similar to the energy tide in the Heavenly Eye mountain range. However, that formed naturally while this place is a maze created from using human strength to distort space. This method to trap a person is even more troublesome to deal with. Xiao Yan revealed in expression contemplation. This place should have been formed by the experts from the Pill Tower. They probably used a great amount of strength to distort space. The distorted space was massive. If one were to randomly barge in, one would definitely lose one's sense of direction nor even end up being trapped here. No matter how complicated this fantasy realm hurdle was, it was after all something that was man-made. If one wished to successfully charge out of this area, one would have to clearly identify the traces of spatial distortion within it. As long as one followed the bending pathway formed by the distorted space, one would be able to successfully walk out of this fantasy realm. Of course, this might be easy to explain, but it was quite hard to do. Under this strange permeating vapor, one's sight and spiritual strength were all firmly suppressed. It would be difficult if one wished to clearly identify the complicated spatial traces in this situation, where one was essentially blind, for an ordinary alchemist. Fortunately, Xiao Yan was not in this ordinary category. With the strength of his current soul, even some tier 7 high-grade alchemists were unable to compare with him. Although the soul was being suppressed due to the gray-colored vapor, it wasn't enough to stop one from dealing with this so-called fantasy realm hurdle. Swoosh swoosh. Xiao Yan faintly smiled upon hearing waves of wind being split apart a short distance away. By relying on his spiritual perception, he watched quite a number of alchemists randomly barge around and finally end up trapping themselves in some distorted space, unable to free themselves. Xiao Yan quietly spread his spiritual strength. He placed both of his hands behind him as his feet gently stepped through empty space. 
He leisurely followed the route that his spiritual strength had probed and slowly walked forward. This distorted space was unexpectedly vast. Adding the size of it to the many spatial folds within it caused this place to appear like a maze. If one were absent-minded, one would end up barging into the distorted spatial folds and end up losing the qualification to continue the test. The space was vast and endless. However, Xiao Yan did not feel any anxiety because of this. His footsteps continued at a steady pace. He had witnessed many competitors charge into spatial folds because of their momentarily recklessness. Hence, he naturally understood that if he were reckless in this kind of place, the fate that would await him would definitely be the miserable one of being knocked out of the competition. Xiao Yan had also met quite a number of genuine experts along the way. The thing that caused his heart to be shocked was that most of these people had detected his spiritual perception. However, they did not come to chat with him. Instead, they all cautiously withdrew far away. Xiao Yan was not surprised that these people withdrew. However, he felt quite speechless in his heart. Most of those alchemists who participated in the pill gathering really did possess great strength. By looking at the situation, he could at the very least tell that quite a number of people were not stopped by this so-called fantasy realm hurdle. Xiao Yan's feet slowly advanced forward in the space which permeated by a deep gray vapor. If he counted the time, he should have already been in this space for an hour or so. Moreover, he could sense the spatial distortion with his spiritual perception become more complicated. At times, he would head in circles in order to avoid the spatial fold that was blocking his path. Tud. Xiao Yan's footsteps gently stepped across some deep gray fog. A thought suddenly flashed in his heart. He raised his heart and looked into the fog a short distance away. He could see waves of ripples suddenly appear at that spot. Immediately, an elderly figure slowly walked closer. Xiao Yan's heart suddenly quivered when he saw the face of that elderly figure. Teacher? Xiao Yan's eyes were startled as he looked at the smiling old man in front of him. That familiar face was Yao Lao, who had been captured by the Hall of Souls. Yao Lao stood a short distance from Xiao Yan and smiled. After which, he beckoned Xiao Yan with his hand. Xiao Yan's foot almost uncontrollably took a step forward as he looked at the friendly and familiar face. A sense of danger suddenly appeared in Xiao Yan's heart as he lifted his foot forward. His foot was also stilled by him. After which, he inhaled a deep breath of air, and his heart recovered its clarity. It's an illusionary figure. The deep regions of this fantasy realm hurdle are able to form illusions based on what one was thinking in one's heart. Xiao Yan frowned. He looked at that elderly figure. It was a long while later before he softly sighed. With a wave of his sleeve, a wind surged out and scattered the elderly figure. The hidden spatial fold behind the figure was revealed. A strange black vapor faintly permeated these spatial folds. This fantasy realm hurdle is indeed risky. Xiao Yan's eyes focused on the strange black vapor. He understood that the appearance of the illusionary figure should be related to this thing. The caution in Xiao Yan's heart was once again raised as he shook his head. He could sense that this place was not far from the exit of the fantasy realm. His spiritual strength spread and once again figured found the spatial trace in front of him. He moved his feet and slowly walked into the distance. Xiao Yan saw quite a number of illusions of people he had thought of during his journey. Shunar, Kai Lin, Xiao Zhan, Yun Yun, etc. They were all people he had deep memories of. However, with the lesson he had learned from the last time, Xiao Yan no longer felt the least bit absent-minded because of the appearance of these illusory figures this time around. No matter how vivid those illusory figures were, he only felt a little nostalgic as he looked at them before waving his sleeves, turning around, and continuing on. Numerous illusions appeared along the way. However, they did not cause Xiao Yan to slow. Following his firm footsteps, the permeating deep gray, dense fog in front of him suddenly became fainter around half an hour later. Immediately, a ten-foot-large distorted black hole appeared a short distance in front of him. This was the spatial tunnel that led to the Pill Realm. End of chapter. Chapter 1159. Entrance to the Pill Realm. An extremely white area was located in front of the spatial tunnel. The space around it was extremely distorted. Clearly, this was a spatial resting point that the experts from the Pill Tower had forcefully created. This kind of skill and grandness was quite outstanding. Even a faction like the Ice River Valley would be unable to show such ability or boldness. At this moment, there were quite a number of seated human figures in this empty ground. All of them possessed a strong aura. Clearly, they were all the competitors who had passed the fantasy realm hurdle earlier. 
these human figures were scattered around, looking at each other with cautious gazes. Only a minority were gathered together in twos or threes. However, the eyes they used to look at the others were also filled with caution. There were no friends in such a place. Only competitors were around. Xiao Yan's sudden appearance naturally stirred the attention of everyone in the empty ground. Numerous gazes that contained various emotions were shot at him. Xiao Yan's expression did not change as he sensed the gazes that vaguely contained some ill intent among the gazes of caution. His eyes slowly swept over the empty ground. He found Cao Ying's and Song King's figures. When Xiao Yan saw Cao Ying and Song King, these two had also sensed his gaze. Cao Ying was slightly startled. Immediately, the corner of her mouth revealed an enchanting smile that caused the hearts of quite a number of men to sway. Song King, however, slightly frowned without leaving a trace. Xiao Yan smiled at the two of them in the distance. However, he did not step forward to join them. Instead, he withdrew some distance away and found an empty spot to sit. He did not intend to get close to these two people. He did not really understand them. No one knew if he would end up being betrayed by them, should he cooperate with them. Years of experience meant Xiao Yan had witnessed many such things. His heart was naturally even more cautious. Moreover, the test in the pill realm might be only to enter it and find some natural treasures, according to one's assignment on the surface, but this second round of test was of critical importance. This first round eliminated a countless number of people. From this, one could how difficult this test was. Xiao Yan clearly understood in his heart that the greatest enemy in the second round was the competitors present here. Hence, something like cooperating with each other was less wise than acting alone if one was unable to trust the others. Song King sighed in relief in his heart when he saw Xiao Yan sit by himself. However, Cao Ying involuntarily bunched her eyebrows together. Xiao Yan had repeatedly not given her any face. She would start to feel a little infuriated regardless of how patient she was. Just continue putting up an act. I want to know just how you will do anything alone once you enter the pill realm. Cao Ying's silver teeth gently rubbed against each other like wild cats as she spoke with some anger within her heart. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of what Cao Ying was thinking in her heart. After sitting down, he turned his head to the spatial tunnel a short distance away. There was an elder in ordinary clothes in front of the tunnel. A completely black, giant turtle shell made out of metal was under his body. That old man sat on this turtle shell. From the badge on the chest of this elder, he was clearly a member of the Pill Tower. However, hardly anyone just when such a person within the Pill Tower had appeared. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over this lazy-looking elder, and his heart trembled because he was completely unable to see through the strength of this elder on the turtle. This is indeed the Pill Tower. It is really a place with many hidden individuals full of power. Xiao Yan withdrew his gaze when that man, who had been in a false sleep condition, suddenly opened his eyes. Xiao Yan could sense the man's spiritual strength, lingering in a spot between his eyebrows, shake a little when his eyes were opened. The old man glanced indifferently at Xiao Yan after which, he scanned over the rest stop. His voice appeared a little weak as he said, it's about time. You can enter the pill realm. Everyone who enters will have to come to me and receive a medicinal list task, the map of the pill realm, and a spatial rock. All of you must find the medicinal ingredients on the medicinal list. Only by gathering all the medicinal ingredients on the list will one be able to successfully pass this hurdle. I shall not talk more about the use of the map. The exit point of the pill realm is on it. You can all hurry there once you have gathered all the medicinal ingredients. As for the spatial rock, it is used to safeguard your life. If you end up in a situation where your life is at risk, you can shatter the spatial rock. After which, you will automatically be sent out of the pill realm. However, you will lose your qualification to continue the competition when you shatter the spatial rock. Do you understand? The old man slowly raised his eyes near the end. Everyone slightly nodded upon hearing his explanation. Those who could arrive at this place with such speed were all extraordinary people. They clearly understood that the elder in front of them was not an ordinary old man. Due to the pill realm being in a ruined state, it is not suitable for one to stay within it for long. Therefore, all of you only have 10 days to find the medicinal ingredients you need. The identification of medicinal ingredients is a basic ability of an alchemist. I don't think that you need anyone to teach you, right? The corner of the elder's mouth was lifted as he lazily said, additionally, although the pill realm is not suitable for a human to live in for a prolonged period of time, it is like a blessed land to some magical beasts. After years of reproduction, the magical beasts in this pill realm are extremely powerful. You should all be careful if you meet them. 
Do not lose your life because no one will go and rescue you. You should all be mentally prepared. The pill gathering is not a game, and it is also not an ordinary competition. This place was a true battleground where one will face a bloody fight. Moreover, the one who is the, the last man standing after this bloody battle will be the champion of this pill gathering. One will succeed while tens of thousands will fail. The pill gathering is like this. The old man's voice had become much colder and sterner when he finished speaking. I shall cease saying any more unnecessary words. Those who are mentally prepared can come forward and take the necessary things. There is still time if you wish to withdraw. The old man on the turtle shell slowly swept his eyes around. However, not a single person withdrew. All of those present had some skill. How was it possible for them to be frightened away by his words? A middle-aged man in alchemist robes stood up without any expression, soon after the elder on the turtle shell uttered those words. After which, he walked to the front of the man on the turtle shell and received the items. The middle-aged man stepped forward and walked to the slowly rotating spatial tunnel before swiftly disappearing. Some people began to step forward one after another after the middle-aged man. They received their items before entering that spatial tunnel in a quick and orderly fashion. Xiao Yan was not in a hurry to enter. Instead, he observed them with cold eyes. From what this old man on a turtle had said, the pill realm was clearly not going to be friendly ground. However, it was only normal if one thought about it. This place would eliminate those outstanding alchemists who had come from all over the Duki continent. No one would believe him if it was not going to be dangerous. He would allow those fellows in front too on the front lines in this kind of place. After around a hundred people entered the spatial tunnel, Cao Ying and Song King also stood up. They received the things from the old man on the turtle shell before entering the tunnel. The witch turned her head and ruthlessly glared at Xiao Yan before she entered, causing Xiao Yan to feel quite helpless. Xiao Yan finally stood up soon after Cao Ying's group entered. He was just about to move when a ripple appeared in the space behind him. A young figure slowly appeared. Xiao Yan also sensed something when this figure entered. He turned his head and a dense chill immediately flashed across his dark black eyes because this figure was not just anyone. Instead, it was the person who had formed a conflict with Xiao Yan, driving the alchemist trade fair back then, and subsequently sold information about Xiao Yan to old Mu Gu, Chen Xian. Chen Xian was still wearing white clothes. His hand was carrying a purple-colored metal fan. At a glance, he looked quite good. However, his chest had an additional tear badge at this moment. Seven purple gold stars were flickering brightly on the badge. Clearly, this fellow was a tier 7 middle grade alchemist grandmaster. Chen Xian shifted his eyes after his entrance. He swept them over the place before pausing on Xiao Yan a short distance in front of him. He was initially a little startled before a mocking smile lifted onto his face. The purple-colored metal fan in his hand was knocked against his palm as Chen Xian walked toward the spatial tunnel. When he walked by Xiao Yan, he paused his footstep and softly laughed, Xiao Yan, right. It is unexpected that your life is so strong. Even by acting personally, that person was unable to take this little life of yours. Xiao Yan's eyes landed on the sinister-looking Chen Xian in front of him. The corner of his mouth revealed a smile that contained a deeper meaning. He softly said, young sect leader Chen Xian. It is best that you hide yourself well after entering the pill realm. Otherwise, the profound Xuan sect will be without a successor. Slam. The purple-colored fan landed heavily against Chen Xian's hand. His eyes were cold as they stared at Xiao Yan. He slowly nodded a moment later and said, I shall return these words to you. Do not let me meet you in the pill realm. Otherwise, I will let you understand what is called a fate worse than death. The sinister smile on the corner of Chen Xian's mouth became even denser after his dense words sounded. He did not say anything more as he turned around and walked toward the tunnel. He received the things from the elder on the shell of a turtle and stepped into the spatial tunnel. Xiao Yan slightly smiled as he watched Chen Xian's back disappear into the spatial tunnel. However, this smile contained killing intent. He would definitely take Chen Xian's life. Hopefully you will not die by the hands of another. It will be too boring if that is the case. Xiao Yan grinned. He took two steps forward, took the items from the old man on the turtle shell, and stored them in his storage ring. After which, he turned around and strode to the spatial tunnel. His body slowly disappeared. End of chapter. Chapter 1160. Thousand-year-old ground Romania glutinosa. In desolate plains, the land was a yellowish color. Occasionally, there were some green decorations around, emitting a little life force. 
there would sometimes be some small magical beasts rushing around the plains. They produced a wisp of yellow smoke before disappearing into the distance. The desolate plains silence continued for a period of time before the empty space suddenly shook. Immediately, a figure rushed out of the space. The figure which had just rushed out from the space was naturally Xiao Yan, who had entered the spatial tunnel. Xiao Yan's eyes were slightly startled when the desolate scene in front of him appeared within his eyes. A thought passed through his mind and his body remained suspended in the sky. He did not recklessly land on the ground. This is the pill realm, huh? Xiao Yan raised his eyes and looked around him. This place was exceptionally full of energy. However, there seemed to be a violent seed within this energy. Could it be that this was due to the pill realm being damaged? Xiao Yan's hand grabbed at the empty space in front of him as he pondered the problem. Creating a realm was a godly strength that only elite Du Shengs possessed. Of course, even if one managed to successfully create a realm, it would require one to constantly maintain it. Otherwise, the realm would gradually decline. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before tossing aside the thought in his heart. He clenched his hand and a goat skin appeared in it. This was the medicinal list that the old man riding the turtle shell had given him before he had entered the tunnel. He needed to gather all of the natural treasure recorded on it in order to successfully pass this hurdle. This tactic of the pill tower is not bad. They have turned all of the competitors into their laborers to search of medicinal ingredients. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head. His eyes returned to the goatskin paper. A moment later, his eyebrows were involuntarily knit together. There were not many natural treasures written on the goatskin. Only three things were written on it. However, these three types of medicinal ingredients caused him to feel the onset of a headache. Dragon core nine leaves mushroom, demon blood spiritual fruit pulp, ascending immortal grass. Xiao Yan muttered the names of the three natural treasures in his mouth. Xiao Yan's head involuntarily swelled a little. He had heard of these names because they were all quite famous. It was likely that no alchemist was unaware of how precious these things were. This pill tower is really a little too ruthless. The size of the pill realm is likely quite vast. It is easier said than done to find these three extremely rare treasures within it. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly. He waved his hand and took out the map of the pill realm. He flipped the map open and saw three red circles drawn at three different locations on the map. This. Could they be the locations where the three things exist? Xiao Yan was startled upon seeing the areas encircled by the red marks. He immediately fell deep into thought. Things would be easier if this was really the case. Swoosh swoosh. While Xiao Yan was thinking about what the circles meant, waves of distortion once again appeared in the space above these planes. Immediately, over a dozen figures rushed out of the space at the same time and landed on the ground. Bang. The feet of these people had just landed on the ground when a thousand-foot-long python suddenly rushed out of sand dune-like surface. Its savage mouth bit toward the head of an alchemist. This sudden unexpected change caused the alchemist to be slightly shocked. However, he did not panic. With a cold cry, a powerful Du Qi pillar shot out and violently struck the enormous python's head. That mighty force caused a bang to appear on the head of the giant python before causing it to explode. That alchemist revealed a proud expression on his face after killing the enormous python. However, before he could sigh in relief, his eyes suddenly narrowed. A ferocious laugh sounded beside his ear, brat, seeing that you have some skill, it is better for you to get lost. The heart of that alchemist was shocked when the ferocious laughter started. Before he could recover, a steel rod ruthlessly landed on his chest. A terrifying force sent him flying away like a cannonball. After which, he rubbed across the ground for nearly a hundred meters before coming to a slow stop. That alchemist had just stabilized his body when a white glow was emitted from his palm. The space around him became distorted before absorbing him into it. From the looks of it, the spatial stone in his hand had been shattered. This sudden change had caused quite a number of people present to be shocked. Immediately, numerous gazes looked at the person who had attacked them. The one who had attacked them was a large man in alchemist robes. His face was filled with flesh. At a glance, he did not appear to be a good person. There was a ten-foot-long steel rod across his shoulders. Some fresh blood adhered to the surface of the metal rod. He he, he has fled quick. The large man carrying a metal rod watched the spot where the alchemist had disappeared from earlier, and he involuntarily parted his mouth into a smile. After which, a fierce glint flashed across his eyes as he once again turned to the others. Seeing this fellow with strong flesh all over his face staring over, some of the other competitors' expressions changed. A caution rose within their hearts. 
some of them even took out their weapons. In this place, they clearly understood that all the other participants were their competitors. They would gain an additional chance if they could finish even one of them off. That large man lifted his mouth in disdain when he saw them pull out their weapons. The metal rod containing traces of blood in his hand was violently waved. After which, he sent the enormous python flying. When that enormous python was sent away, a depression immediately appeared under the sand dunes. A deep yellow rism, the size of a child's head, appeared in the depression in front of everyone's eyes. Ground Romania glutinosa? Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw the deep yellow rism deep underground. This ground Romania glutinosa was a kind of rare medicinal ingredient that was formed by gathering the strength of the land. If one's energy started a violent uprising when one was training, this ground Romania glutinosa, as well as some additional medicinal ingredients, could be refined into a pill with the ability to suppress the uprising. Xiao Yan's eyes paused on the deep hole as surprise flashed through them. He appeared to be contemplating the ingredient. A hundred-year-old ground Romania glutinosa was only the size of a fist. Moreover, it was an extremely rare existence. It was unexpected that the ground Romania glutinosa within this pill realm had grown to such an extent. It was really surprising. This thing had likely aged for a thousand years. If this thing was brought to the outside world, it would likely attract many eyes. This person might appear rash, but he is extremely observant. He could tell that this place possessed the ground Romania glutinosa, likely because he had recognized that ground yellow python. Xiao Yan glanced at the enormous python. Any area where the ground yellow python appeared would have the ground Romania glutinosa. However, this ground yellow python was not much different from an ordinary python. If one was inexperienced, one would likely find it difficult to identify it. A wild joy flashed across the eyes of the large man when he saw the size of that ground Romania glutinosa. He grabbed it and pulled it out. After which, he parted his mouth into a smile. His gaze swept over the people with heated eyes, and his face sank. He coldly cried out, get lost if you do not wish to die. The remaining dozen plus alchemists' expressions changed when they heard his cold cry. However, after witnessing the fierceness of the large man earlier, they did not dare to say anything more. The ruthlessness of this person's attack was deeply imprinted in their minds. After hesitating for a moment, the remaining alchemists finally chose to withdraw. Although the ground Romania glutinosa was rare, it would not be worthwhile to lose their right to compete because of it. The disdain on the face of the large man became even denser as he watched these people withdraw as they were told. Among these people, there were at least two who were only a little weaker than his strength at the peak of the Du Huang class. However, they did not possess a fierceness or boldness like him. Therefore, these cowardly mice could only leave empty-handed. The world was always a place where the strong ate the weak. If one did not possess any courage, how would one be able to succeed and stand above others? A group of trash. The large man curled his mouth. After which, a bloodthirsty expression flashed across the face of the large man. He was just about to store the ground Romania glutinosa into his storage ring when a suction force suddenly appeared and snatched the ground Romania glutinosa away. Damn it, who dares to touch the things that belong to this father of yours? A tyrannical expression immediately flashed across the face of the large man when the ground Romania glutinosa left his hand. He suddenly raised his head, only to see a young figure suspended in the air without support. Get lost. Xiao Yan in the sky indifferently glanced at the large man. He was not the least bit courteous. The tactics of this person allowed Xiao Yan to understand that he was not a good person. One must use vicious tactics when dealing with an evil person. Hence, Xiao Yan's words left no room for discussion. The expression of the large man changed when he saw that Xiao Yan was able to remain in the air without any support. He clearly understood just what kind of being was able to stay afloat in the air. This meant that this young fellow was at the very least an elite Du Zong. An expert of this level was not someone the large man could afford to offend. He grit his teeth while feeling a great unwillingness within his heart. However, this large man was not someone who did not recognize the situation. He was able to snatch things from others, and others would naturally be able to snatch his things. If one were act kindly in this pill realm, it was likely that one would be defrauded to the point where one would not even be left with one's clothes. The large man furiously stared at Xiao Yan, but did not dare to say much. His eyes paused on the thousand-year-old ground Romania glutinosa in Xiao Yan's hands. He carried a stomach full of anger as he transformed into a blurry shadow, rushing to the distant mountain range. Xiao Yan's face did not reveal any ripple as he watched the large man go. 
He randomly put this thousand-year-old ground Romania glutinosa in his storage ring after the man had disappeared into the distance. His body slowly landed in the deep hole in the ground. His eyes contained some anticipation as he looked at the bottom of the deep pit. Although the thousand-year-old ground Romania glutinosa was precious, it was not great enough to get Xiao Yan to pay too much attention to it. The thing that truly interested him was something that lay even deeper underground. End of chapter.